Oh wow. Oh gosh. We're good. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my god. Can you feel the sunshine? Can you feel the sunshine? And it does brighten up my day. Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel that sometimes you just need to run away? <laughs> Don't you <laughs> feel it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel it? Don't you feel it? Well, not off to a good start, huh, Dave? We <laughs> downloaded this yesterday. Why did it not? Just to start the software. It doesn't look like it has online or anything. It doesn't look like the right Joy-Con is synced. It looks like it stinks. Even though it was plugged in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do I do? It's not dinner, really? No, look, it's not synced. Well, he needs to sync it to play the game. Why is it Dave? not synced? It was plugged into the fucking car. I gotta say, I fucking hate the Switch. I fucking hate it. When oh. has it ever been fucking oh. easy to oh, use? Here, oh, here, here we go. One I'm of your so famous Nintendo Switch rants. I'm the Jeff Keeley to your angry Joe, Chris. Jeff? Jeff Keeley. Keeley. Yeah. I say so. Um, um, have you ever noticed that the, 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 the Game Award sucks? <laughs> you ever noticed that you're a piece of shit with saggy, sad eyes and the Game Award sucks? <laughs> and then he says, what game do you want to be at the Game Awards? And he goes, that's uh, uh, not the point. I am the voice of the gamers. <laughs> the gamers unheard. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Close. They really don't want you to throw your Switch con, but you know what? I don't even have the things for we it. We live dangerously. Marvelous. Ooh, 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 gee, <laughs> ooh. Chris, do not throw the Joy-Con into the television and crack it wide open. <laughs> these, all these logos that just flashed at the beginning of this are like fucking like weed logos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the look of that. There we are. Mm. Grasshopper like, Manufacture does sound like a fucking like you could buy vape pens and press? shit from them, doesn't hey. it? Hey, you did ooh. it. Choose difficulty sweet. Don't play on mild. sweet. Play on mild. Really? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Ooh. Now you're this little man. You're this little rascal. I'm like running around in a motel. Now you get a little cutscene. Hmm. We're about to see this guy's freaking epic backstory. Ooh. Yeah, I've always wanted to see this game. File. This is literally, this is a game Whoa. about you, dude. This is literally me. This is my face when. Mm -hmm, Every mm -hmm. time I my face when, yeah. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> me. <laughs> See. So I'm at the register, and then I realize I got no money. I was seriously mm -hmm, broke. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I met this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Chris, I didn't do anything. Chris, I didn't do fucking shit. There he was, this cat, well dressed, cool. Couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain old. Or the shit. tit. <laughs> yeah, so he styled, fast, aggressive, and he agreed with you. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or at least it was supposed to be. Ooh, there is the head go. The head come off. <laughs> there is head go. An agent with this watch him call it a Do not let your Christian parents catch you playing this game. You are certified as the Ooh. Oh no. I have a certified boner. <laughs> that I'm gonna put inside of um your um oh. <laughs> Body. <laughs> Body. Right. Keep forgetting what that crazy thing is called. <laughs> Has anyone ever done that? What? I'm gonna put my penis in your body. <laughs> everyone it's at home not has wrong. a girlfriend tonight. Please try that out. <laughs> None of you will get any sex tonight. I promise. And record it. And the best submission will be put on in the next episode. <laughs> there you go. Sweet, now, so now you guys know the story. And we didn't completely talk over or miss all of it. So a guy is gonna put his penis inside of a body, mm -hmm. yeah. and he rides a bike. Basically, this guy wants to get laid. It's Scott Pilgrim. Yes, yes, there you go. And he bought a lightsaber on eBay, I think. Scott Pilgrim right, versus right. the turd. <laughs> Fuckhead! <laughs> <laughs> Fuckhead! There you go. This guy cool. Dude, this bike, Yo, this guy better watch out. out. Where's this death metal dude? I hope nothing violent happens. I hope nothing violent happens. I hope bad nothing happens. bad happens. No, Jesus, man. <laughs> this is good. This game is cool. All right. It's game time. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. He's wearing gunners. That's what I say every time I play a video game. All right. There you go. Turns on my stick. Play well, the we tutorial. Play the you tutorial. might want to. 
Oh, okay, yes. beam katana, A. That's what you got, yes. Press the A button to swing the beam katana. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember, so I played this game originally on the Wii. Right, yeah, exactly. I remember being really disappointed that the A button swung the sword and not swinging your arm swung the sword. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> defend yourself. Yeah, you're making a fool of yourself right now. Yes. Okay. There it goes. You did it. You killed the man in cold blood, Christopher. You kind of hit me a few times. You had a <laughs> yeah. The gaug on the right of the screen. That's not that word. The gaug no. on the right of the screen is the beam katana's battery power. Each attack <laughs> will make the beam katana will drain the battery. Yeah, yeah. You will not be able to use the beam katana once his batteries run out. Mm -hmm. Now recharge your beam katana. Go, press the L button and go into charge mode. There you go. This is, this is fun. Swing the right Joy-Con from left to right. No way. Yep, yep. I was real yep. good at this Check part. I was real good at this part. Oh, 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 oh. I'm jerking it. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> there you go. You did it. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Yeah, there's, there's a couple Ooh. more helpful moves. Locking on and blocking. Push the ZL button to lock on. I just chugged a five hour energy. It's time to go maximum Lyle. <laughs> five hour energy. Jesus, Lyle. <laughs> it's not a drink. It's more like a, a lifestyle. Drink. <laughs> Is that necessary, Lyle? Yeah. Oh, there I see. Go. There you go. Okay. You're learning so much. Yes, I'll continue. Dude, you're becoming a lightsaber master. Weapon clash. If Travis sword attacks, if, if Travis sword attack and an enemy attack, hit each other. So if you guys attack each other at the same time... I'm just saying that's bad English, right? <laughs> if Trevor's sword attack and an enemy attack hit each other, a weapon clash will occur. This game's originally from Japan, Chris. They need to learn my language. <laughs> when a weapon clash and you will enter a death blow mode, attack with a slash attack. I oh, see. there you go. This is a weapon clash. Swing around the right Joy-Con. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Dude, there you, there you go. go. Slash down, yeah. Win uh, by go... Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 That's always super cool when you split guys in half like vertically. It feels very I love very that effect good. and things. So go up and end that guy's life while yeah, he's defenseless. <laughs> the unarmed dude, go like teach his dick a lesson. There you go. Jesus. Oh, I turned he was, a bit to spectacles. He was asking for it. You succeeded. Uh, murder. Oh no. The beam could be switched between high and low attacks. Use high attacks to hit enemies guarding low. And oh, then you, okay. do, you do that by holding it up or down. I see. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it because I'm running you. Ah. <laughs> okay, so that's like high. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I'm hit killing Hitman. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> Guys, the, uh, so the statute of limitations is definitely up on this. <laughs> so you won't get in legal trouble. Did you guys ever uh, hack your Nintendo Switches? Uh, no. Did you? Yeah, I did. What did you do? Did you get free? I Yeah, I, I used to be able to, like, write games onto, like, DVD-Rs. Ooh. But you didn't also, ever use SD card? Uh, no, I was too stupid to do oh, that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would, I would like write games on the DVD-Rs, but then you could, you could also like put like weird mods and shit into them. So I had like a crazy weird ISO disc of, uh, Smash Bros. Brawl with just a bunch of funky like skins and shit on it. That's sick. I mean, that was what a uh, Project M was. You guys yeah. remember Project M? Oh yeah, I do. I had no. a fucking Project M. That's sick. I always wanted to play that. It was super fucking cool. Okay. Ah, fucking die! <laughs> yeah! <Yo! laughs> <laughs> oh, it just doesn't freaking get old. I think there's like two more things left in the tutorial. Okay. Throws. Throws. First stun. I enemy. remember this being really satisfying. Haha. -ha. Oh, I didn't do it right. Oh. No! Ah! Okay. Once the enemy's stunned. B again to grab them. Grab the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Success! You're learning. One more. Once more with feeling. <laughs> Success! There you go. B. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> ah, that was not fair! <laughs> 
beat their ass, Chris. Ooh! Don't hit me. Oh, I'm just a young boy. <laughs> yeah, you're not just a young boy. <laughs> you're murdering the shit out of them. I feel like they have it coming. I mean, kinda. They are bald. I guess they deserve it. Look at this house they live in. You're doing them a favor. Dave, you lied, you fuck. Ooh! <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's awesome. I am so silly. I'm so try the, try the low one. The low oh one is six. I think the low one does like a spin. Ooh. There you go. Well, you got, you got oh. him up there. Uh oh. You need to charge him. Energy. You gotta press L and uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ew. Chris is doing something really weird next to me. What a weird fucking game. More like what a really nice, Ooh. sweet Nintendo child friendly game. Dave, you've played this a lot. Is that an effect where it kind of stops frames right before you hit them, or is it just a weird port? I can't. No, well, that if that's that slowdown is definitely there in the original game too. Okay. It might have just worked to their benefit. I hate you guys. <laughs> that's oh, a this nice guy's got hair. Say. He's new. Teach a new a type of enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I hit the bow. Yep. When you get that, you can just do like crazy super moves and blow up millions of fucking dudes near you. Who lives in there? It's and convenient it he got nice. it on the last one. Yeah, I know, right? So he got a taste of the power. That was like he went dark Chris for like a second, but he didn't <laughs> truly unleash it. It was like a foreshadowing moment. Good throw thing. There were more guys to try it. I am Johnny Shitfingers. You're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what other games do you have on your stolen Wii? What games did I stole? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, oh. I stole fucking uh, new Donkey Kong Returns. Return to Donkey Kong Island. So uh, that's why there wasn't a sequel, because everyone just stole it and they made no money, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. I definitely like only stole games that I never would have bought anyway. Hmm. I did it. I did it pretty like late into the Wii's life cycle, so it would have been like. I would have probably bought most of the stuff I was gonna buy on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I, I opened my purple box. I remember Try I was it. the coolest Ooh. kid in school when I had a hacked Wii. Because nobody else knew how to do it. So I was like, I could show you some cool shit. That's we could play we could play fuck fucking wild. Zelda Twilight Princess with weird mods that makes the hook shot work on everything. I've seen, I've <laughs> and seen it totally people. fucking breaks the game. Some people, some like Newgrounders I know, have hacked switches and put modded characters in like Smash Ultimate. Like I've seen Tank Man in Smash Ultimate. Really? Oh, that's yes. crazy. Wow. I don't know that Smash Ultimate had that going on yet. Yeah, no, but I feel like you've got to really be living on the edge to be hacking your Switch of all things. Yeah. <laughs> You're living on the edge, man. I feel like modern <laughs> consoles will like straight up like just incorporate shit that'll like brick them or they'll like put you like Ugh. so far Ooh. behind on like patches and stuff that you basically need to constantly keep up with a community I mean, of people that is gonna make sure your shit works, you know? That, uh -oh. That's, that's kind of how, like, the PSP was, because if you, oh, if you get patches that are too far ahead, then, like, you're fucked. Oh. Teach him a lesson, Chris. From the asshole to the brain. <laughs> Toss his ass. That'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spin me. So, do you guys feel like these guys really deserve it, or do you feel like this is kind of unfair to them? No, I feel like this is earned. Yeah? Can you I feel like on? they're oh, kind of you in go. your way and stuff, so that's like... That means they deserve it, right? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Listen, you're the good guy because you're wearing sneakers and a jacket. These guys are assholes. They wear yeah, suits. Yeah, they they're suits. Haha, <laughs> you're a bum. <laughs> they're uh -oh. fucking corpos, bro. Arg! I've already forgotten everything for the tutorial. Well, you're doing good enough anyway. You're blocking all that guy's moves. I love that they can get caught in the crossfire. It's so cool. Oh, you fucking like. So, oh, you're doing yeah. anime shit to him. Yeah. I'm not over here. I'm just having a good time. Hey. Chris, you're gonna need to whack off soon. Uh, ooh, I don't even know what I'm doing, dude. Holy shit. You're <laughs> winning, though. <laughs> you are winning. You can definitely mash through this game. I think I played this game, so the reason I brought up uh, fucking hacking my Switch and pirating games is this is one of the games that I pirated. Oh, um, But the second one was also out at the time. Really? So I think I was just kind of like impatient to get through it. 
And so I didn't really like, like I did play all the way through hey, it, but I don't remember super liking it, probably because I was like, I just want to get to the second one. And that, <laughs> yeah. That's like a bad mindset to play anything, I think. Yeah, no, that's I think true. I kind of like part of the reason I didn't really dig Half-Life 2 was because I also sort of had that mindset. Whoa! But there is no Half-Life 3. Yeah, but I didn't know that at the time. Oh, fuck, man. oh my god. What is that? I went Super Saiyan. You did? Woo! Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> <You. laughs> These poor guys. Give me that treasure. Yeah, I'm, Give I'm, me that table. Honestly, I sort of feel like they kind of don't deserve it. Ah, fuck you. Kill him. <laughs> no, my Super Saiyan. Uh-oh. <laughs> That'll teach you. But yeah, I, I kind of, I think I ruined Half-Life 2 a little bit for myself because I like thought of it as like, Oh, this is a 10 year old game or whatever when I played it and I was like, I'll bet like the the episodes or whatever I bet those are like way better oh, So man. I kind of I kind of I kind of just like you fucked yourself the episodes are just more of the same I know exactly. They're literally exactly the same. They yeah. don't change it at all When I beat well, Half-Life 2, I never actually got into the other episodes. They always got bored like really quickly I don't Whoa. think I beat them. I what think I was like I, I was expecting basically like a Half-Life 3 I remember seeing like crazy scenes of like bridges bending oh, and buckling a over what? You Is missed the treasure? Where? <laughs> Here? To your left? Yeah. I'm there stupid. Our name is Travis. And it's time to touchdown! You talk Hi, oh, that's his name, by the way, Chris. <laughs> Is Travis. Touchdown, Travis? Yeah, yeah. There you go. So, what ah. Dave did there was actually pretty clever. <laughs> I knew you were funny. Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, I knew you were something special, Dave. Oh, thanks, guys. We need more games where blood flies out of people. From I know. the second I said I dropped my wedding ring in a septic tank and you dove in head first Absolutely. to retrieve it. Absolutely, mouth open. I knew you were something special. <laughs> I knew. After three and a half hours, I was like, fuck? that was a test and you passed. <laughs> thanks, Lyle. You always know how to make me <laughs> smile. <laughs> ah. Dude, you just killed Rude, like, from FF7 a billion fucking times. I like Rude. <laughs> no, you don't. He's an asshole. He's an asshole, but I like him. I like Reno better. Nah, they ruined Reno. What? They turned him into a weird twink. What, <laughs> in the new one? In all of them. Ever since I've had children, he's been a weird twink. Uh, he used to be a cool, ugly mafia dude. He's still a cool, ugly mafia dude, even in that. Nah, he's like the ultimate twinkus. <laughs> no, no. Yes, and he's, he's just like, he's for the girls to go, Oh, he's gonna finger I will, my pussy later. I will, no, no. Yes. Let's, he's yes. for the guys to finger their pussy I mean, later. that's fine. No, it's fine for girls to finger their pussies to dudes, but also, uh, he was already a cool mafia dude I enjoyed, and they ruined him. You're a fool. They, sh they should have had a character in there from the beginning for girls to flick their bean to. Well, I mean, yeah, they, they, kind of put, uh, they put Zack in there, and they made him gacked. Remember? Gacked? Yeah, yeah, there's like a Japanese pop star called the, Gacked. The, the bad guy in Crisis Core, Chris, he's modeled after a J-pop star. In Crisis Core, you mean Genesis? Yeah, yeah. He's modeled after a K-pop star? A J-pop star, yeah. Are you fucking with me? No, that's actually real. Genesis. Genesis, yeah, the, the legendary soldier, the oh Sephiroth friend. <laughs> but it's really cool, and it's really good, actually. It's good that he's gacked. <laughs> yes. Crisis Core is good. I love Crisis Core. I can't fucking believe they're remaking it. That's all I ever wanted. But guess what? That's all I ever wanted for the original too, and they ruined it. Yeah, that that was my question. Is like, is the Crisis Core remake? It seems like it's an it actual going, re, like remake, a proper remake. But is it going to be a remake in the context of the new Final Fantasy? It better fucking not be. Or is it going to be? Yeah, like I don't know. I, don't I can't know, trust Dave. it no more. I, I don't know. I haven't been Dave. able to trust it for a long time. Chris, let me have this. Let me my oh, turn. Yeah, I, I want to fight some freaking guys. Fine, be a little fucking hogster. <laughs> Finally, the one time I have fun and Dave rips it away. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you got the big sevens. <laughs> I don't even know what this power gives you. Dude, Dave, you fucking own it this game. Dude, I love fighting dudes and chopping them in half. I'm a psychopath. How many times have you uh, played this? A lot. Dave, what's your favorite video game? Mmm, probably like something like Shadow of the Colossus or something. Aww, did you like the remake? Uh, no, I I, <laughs> I, I hate Sorry. Blue Point, and I think they fucked up Sha uh, Demon Souls too. Me, 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 agree. Me, I, agree. I hate, I hate to be a downer like that. I try to like be more positive. I try to be so positive, dude. You're so right. <laughs> I try not to be negative. Wait, what did they change about Shadow of the Colossus? The art style. Did they really? Yeah, they, it looks super animations. nasty. A lot of the animations are fucked too. 
I, I, I will never give it a chance. I, and I hate what they did to Demon Souls. They, no, they actually really pissed me off about Demon Souls. Demon Souls oh. is appreciably. I, I could not tell the difference with Shadow of the Colossus. Well, well, uh, you. that's why you are blacklisted and you're not allowed back on the show. Okay, that's fair. But I'm not allowed on your show anyway, so it's I, fair. I, I, oh, I feel like you guys are going to get in more trouble for saying, oh, all these video games are bad and I hate them. I didn't say that. I said I was very positive, therefore people that's can't true. be mad at me. You also, um, yeah, no, you've never... You've I don't, never I don't shit on things. Never. <laughs> you? Me? <laughs> you? You know what? I get a lot of flack. You do. I'm, I'm getting Too much. sick of it. Too much flack, I'd say. Because I shit on things that are fully deserved, and I praise things that are fully loved. <laughs> You'll love, let me tell you about some things I love, just so I don't come off as being a prick. Yeah. Number one. Too late. Uh, my love story. If okay. you haven't seen my love story, you, okay, Chris you need to get your fingers out of your ass and start watching it. Uh, I will watch it, but my fingers will stay where they are, thank you. <laughs> okay, well anyway, that's like my favorite thing in the world right now. I love that show. Chris showed me an anime that, I won't lie, I'm not, I feel like I'm receptive to most anime, but he showed me something that looks like something I would never watch. Ugh. It looked like absolute seasonal crap, I'm sorry, based on the thumbnails. <laughs> but when he showed it to me, it's like beautiful animation, actually beautiful story, lovable characters. Good music. Honestly, Chris, I'm su no offense, I am surprised you ever gave that a chance, and I'm surprised I told you that you why. were able to convince me I liked it. I was sitting on my ass in my living room like a toddler on the floor, and I was like, I'm gonna watch something, and I'll see if it's good. And then I was on Crunchyroll, and I saw that thumbnail for my love story, and I'm like, how can this possibly be good? And I put it on, and it was, and now it's, it really is like my favorite thing I've ever seen. I mean, I don't blame you. After you showed it to me, that's fucking awesome. I've definitely got to steal, I mean, legally pay for, and watch it. <laughs> yeah. I finally finished One Punch Man Season 1. That was like the best thing ever. It was pretty good, yeah. I feel like that show kind of does like, lose its premise a little bit, and then it's just like another like, oh, they're in, it, this is your ranking, and you move up, and you know, it Before turns I into Before I watched that. it, I was kind of put off, and I was like, how can this possibly go on for more than a few episodes if he's so overpowered? But it, it really does just kind of keep you going. I, I like it. Yeah, no, it, it looks great, too. The animation does a lot of the heavy yeah. lifting, I think, for that. And I know season two drops off, but whatever. But uh, whatever, he says. Whatever. Whatever. So, uh, what are you doing again? I know we weren't paying much attention, but... All right, Chris, here, you take it from here. No, you yes. guys. I, I'll, I'll play it if you don't want to play it. I'll play. I'll play? I'll play. Okay. Here, boss time. Yeah, I actually... Uh, play the boss. <laughs> I didn't play the tutorial, and I wasn't paying attention when Chris did, so... It's called Mash A, and then hit L to jerk off every now and again. But first, you to answer your freaking cell phone. Mamma mia. So originally, will you be my mom? <laughs> if I kill the, if I kill this guy, will you be my mom and fucking let me suck on your tits and stuff? In the, Lyle, in the <laughs> <laughs> not all mothers breastfeed Lyle. <laughs> yeah, the bad ones don't. I want a good mom. All good mommies breastfeed their cute little boys. <laughs> I just want to say we're idiots. What? <laughs> on the Wii version of this game, <laughs> the reason it's got cell phone sections is because. Your little oh, Wiimote would ring, yeah. and you'd hold it up to your head. Oh yeah, I remember that now. But now in this, it's kind of like a little weird and pointless. Yeah, but it's cool. Let me say one thing I like and hate about that. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation Five controller. You know the way they do that thing where they have sound effects coming out of the controllers. Yeah. I hate that because it sounds like shit, and it just sucks me out of the game. But I was playing Hitman Three the other day, and the way it was vibrating to the beat of the music was really cool. Yeah, it, no, was, it, was, it was really The PS5 neat. controller is like legit, like really cool. Yeah, I love it. It's really cool. Yeah, no, Astro, and that's uh, Astro's Playroom is so fun because of that. Yeah. But what is it like? Uh, okay, in this, so you're right. The controllers sound like crap, but that's why, like, it works so well for a cell phone call because it just sounds like shitty yeah. reception. But a lot of games don't do it for that. They do little sound effects coming out, and it sounds like uh, Tamagotchi or something. <laughs> You got an awesome new sumo move. Who wrote remember in Pixel these Art? Golden Days in Calgary? <laughs> Am I Canadian? What? The past <laughs> pro wrestling you have long forgotten. Someone wrote this in blood. Remember the first <laughs> suplex you ever learned. <laughs> you remembered an old professional wrestler. Don't forget to save your freaking game, Lyle. <sighs> oh yeah, he pees. I forgot about that. Dude, that's like a Chris O'Neill moment right there. What? Taking a giant fat shit to save your game. That's just like real life, ain't it, Chris? They I, did that in yeah, uh, yeah, Dead right. Rising too. You went pee pee to save. <laughs> Shit, really? 
Yeah. Uh, fuck. You go pee pee and poo poo. Ooh, you went to the purple world. Wow. Ooh, titties. And look at all these collages of wrestlers I've found out about. Is that what we were looking at? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some saw, just Lucha Lieberman. I saw breasts. Am I reported? <laughs> I guess it's, it's a Rorschach you're test. You're incredibly straight. Okay. Unlike Chris Chan or Sega Camp. Is that Shadow? Quite yes. beautiful, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Quite hot and sexy. I'm getting the right boner. <laughs> Dude, we found one of the top ranked 11 assassins. You just Ooh. chilling on the beach? It's a nice uh, little that's scene. That's a pool. That's not the beach. Well, it's that's like man made. A beach. He's in front of a pool that's in front of the beach, which is the ocean. Level. <laughs> that's a lot of semantics for me to keep track of, and I'm <laughs> fucking tired of it. I love his, his beard stays in place as he talks. Come on. Look, his chin's moving down, but his beard's not. <laughs> I like that. I, I hate that you pointed that out. I would have never fucking noticed that. I wouldn't have either. No, I can never unsee it. Listen, Chris, this game's on a budget. If you haven't fucking noticed, I think noticed, it looks cool. I, I like that you can see little broken shit like that. It makes it feel more human. That's true. I do think also like the harsh black shading looks very nice. Yeah, I like that too. Ooh, it's stylish. Oh, he's got a. Big... Oh, he's naked now. <laughs> Time to suck him off, Lyle. Miles, wow, you think you can beat this guy? I have a feeling that I'll be able to do it. The, the, what is the button to hit? <laughs> it's the A button, you freaking maroon. <laughs> is he your buddy? Nah. Yeah, he's explaining how much of a, a friend he's gonna be to you. They're doing anime dialogue, Chris. The classic anime dialogue before fighting. Oh, that's so cool. That is fucking <laughs> awesome. That is fucking Alvisham. <laughs> you can take that to your grave. And, I have no faith in Lyle. I do. I got lots of faith this, in Lyle. I mean, he's got to have to. He's gonna have to prove that he can do this. Lyle likes me. Ah, Lyle! <laughs> Lyle, you're off to a damn good start. <laughs> Lyle's How good do at I video dodge? Games. What's what's my dodge if button? You, if you, uh, you log on and enroll with the right analog stick. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, Chris, remember the tutorial. I just want to yeah, help yeah, my yeah. friend so he doesn't get killed. Oh, if that Lyle doesn't work dies, on him. I don't know what I do. You're doing pretty good with the dodges, I'll say that much. Uh, all right, all right. You know, I think Lyle's kind of proving right, me wrong. All right, you little butthole. <laughs> I'm kind of looking like an idiot now that I had no faith in my friend. Wow. <laughs> no! If you get the little green. Oh, I'm out of cum. Yeah, I need to. No, no, left, left, left bumper. Trigger. Left bumper. Ah, uh, yeah, he's gonna smack ah, you. What the fuck? Left bumper. <laughs> Oh god! Alright, well... <laughs> I do like the little mechanics they got going. Uh, no! There you go! Yeah, hey, you motherfucker! Yeah, yeah you got him. Damn, well. Alright, alright. And you can break his guard with B. Yeah, that didn't work when I did it, but... Okay. We'll see. Ooh, your battery's maxed. Nice, now you don't even have to wank off anymore. Wank? You're gonna get wang jangled, my dude. What's his name? Uh, uh, Cock Mangler? <laughs> uh, that's the name of the girl at Friday Night Fucking. <laughs> you don't know that for a fact. Dave told me. That's tr I've been giving Chris the secret lore. Boyfriend and his true love, Cock Mangler. <laughs> oh no, I did not mean to do that. I remember when I was visiting Newgrounds, you were like, Hey Chris, you wanna do a stream with me? And I was like, okay. And you were like, just please don't like bring up anything to do with Friday Night Funkin' because people get really obsessive about it. I was like, Oh, okay. like if you make a joke on stream, they'll like, yeah. add it to the wiki and <laughs> yeah, shit. And I was like, I was making these jokes about what all the characters were officially called. I remember at the time I mentioned I was I supposed to mention I was like no fake names because at the time we were dealing with a fucking epidemic because we joked that his name would be Evan just just randomly yeah. but then that got added to every wiki ever oh, I've wow. never experienced anything like it yeah and I still to this day I I see like people who will fight to the fucking death saying they love Evan. Why can't Boyfriend I be is in the Evan? fucking game? He's not fucking Evan. Or, or like, was that what they thought it was? That's, that's what they thought it was, right? So that's that's just what I live with now. To some people, he'll never not be Evan, and I feel some kind of crazed guilt for that. It's like ima imagine if like somebody went to Toriyama and they're just like, dude, that main character who hangs out with Piccolo and Vegeta. Oh, I just love your main character. Yeah, like, Toriyama would be like, I forget what that guy's name is. <laughs> like Bob is so good, Son Whoa. Bob. That I don't do that. What? 
That is fucking horse shit. That was crazy. He There's... is not allowed. Oh my god, dude. Wow. He's so fucked. Not if I can help it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! oh, no! oh, Jesus. I don't think that that works very well from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Remember, uh, if he's blocking high, you gotta go low. I did not know that. <laughs> and then what is it? High and low is based on where you're holding the right Joy Con. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see. And also, when he's blocking like that, try doing B. Yeah, yeah, because the B button will do like the little Did he get like up. all of his fucking health back? Nah. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be like. Alright. I can show you my life. Lifting, flickering, oh, splendor. Fuck, I'm out of shit. Ah. You got the Lyle's just run home. <laughs> okay, one down, I think. Uh, uh oh. Why? Lyle's gonna run out again. Whew. Jesus. Ooh, is that health? Please yes, tell it me is. that is. I'm gonna coom. <laughs> Alright, you fucking leave me alone for like a second, dude. Please. He didn't hit you. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it and he did hit him. <laughs> I love this mechanic. I think that's great. Yeah, you just gotta like back off and like jerk off yeah, in the middle of it. Yeah, that's so the... funny. Oh, oh. Alright, two down. Like you the... better not fucking do that again or I will scream. No. No! Oh, <laughs> fuck, Lyle. You're so done. Ah! Oh no, he didn't do it. You're good. I was gonna be really mad. Oh, oh. Jerk off time, Lyle. Jerk off time. Oh yeah, that would probably be the time to do it! <laughs> You had no faith in me. You said I couldn't do it. I still might not. If I do die, it'll be like frustratingly close, and then I'll be like, fuck this game. I hate it. <laughs> You're doing good, Lyle. I believe in Wu. Yeah, smack him up the ass. Oh, it's so close. It is really oh, close. If I lose, I'm gonna actually fucking scream. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, wow, he did something crazy. All right. <laughs> oh, this is, I'm actually getting fucking stressed out watching this. Dodge roll away, dodge roll away! Uh -oh. Okay, uh -oh. oh, wow, so close. Uh -oh. He's being sneaky. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes! 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 Get Get head off. You, you proved me Tell wrong. Tell me off, Dave. You Boom! Know, you, Ooh. you proved me wrong. Look at that. You got it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You've been disarmed. <laughs> well, you ruined it. You freaking <laughs> you ruined, ruined it. the recording. <laughs> Turn it off. Or power. I just want to be number one. See, he just wants to be number one. Damn it, the beard is still doing it. Well, no more of that guy. God, I love that effect. It's so good. Okay. Well, First well, you well. See her. It's not a girl, is it? Yeah, I hate they wouldn't play. include a girl, would they? I hate to break it to you, but they, this guy's kind of dead. Actually, like, I walked in on my uncle like that. <laughs> well, that must have been a pretty shit day for him, honestly. Yeah, that's an awkward Thanksgiving. Don't worry, he was the bad uncle. You can't do this in real life. Yeah. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> All right. Brood. I got my money. Nice kill, Travis. I'm the big guy. And I'm the little guy with the vacuum. Time to suck up all his blood and clean it all up. And that's Lyle. And mm -hmm. that's our girl that we all share. Mm -hmm. That's also me. I'm like, hey, Lyle, am I not looking pretty good today? You are kind of like a girl we share. <laughs> kind of a little bit. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Gucci! Don't take a picture of that. <laughs> well, that's going on Twitter. That's going to be going a fucking on sculpture oh, that hangs in the Podesta's house. She is squatting. Look at her go. And you will keep your promise? No. There is nothing the association Her promise to do. him, Chris? I'm not even joking. <laughs> is that she'll have sex with him as he becomes the number one? <laughs> Thank you for that. She's like, <laughs> she's, she says she'll have s s sex with him, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. When I see it, I can't help it. <laughs> His hairline's so perfect. Right? Does it just look so ace? Can you I can't believe this guy's having trouble getting laid. Back. Right? Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Okay, that's why I love. 
Maybe not. Come on, just once. I watched the movie for the first time. The other <laughs> she day. took a picture of him begging for sex. <laughs> uh huh. Have you guys ever seen Vampire Hunter D? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah. such a like a, a man fantasy movie. At the like at the start of it, she literally, she's like, I just wanted to see how cool you were. If 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 you'll help me, I. <laughs> I'll let you fuck me. It's like it starts off like that's like whoa cool. Dude. I saw it a long ass time ago, but I remember thinking it was cool. You're talking about the one by Madhouse, right? From like uh, the early 2000s? No, it's uh, the old one. I, it's from the 80s. So wait, is the animation good or bad? It's not bad. I mean, it's old. Okay, if it's I, I think the new one definitely looks better from like 2004. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay. Yeah, the old one is like old, but it still is really fun. Yeah, I liked it. It wasn't great. Oh, dude, I always take off my shirt to shit. <laughs> do you guys? Or uh, is... Honestly, the older I get, the more I do it. Yeah. I off. used to fucking pull it over my head like uh, Beavis. <laughs> like fucking Cornholio. <laughs> no, you didn't. Really? Yeah, Why? Yeah, I did. I, I don't know. Am I ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> He did the perfect Mario one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, is that you? Yeah. Dude, what? That's literally it. Oh my god. Wait, I love the. Oh, wait. Well, I'll say you're a bitch, Luigi. <laughs> you're a bitch, Luigi. Yeah. Damn, that's, that's pretty good. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're a bitch. He's got a cat. Yeah, he does. His cat's adorable. Walks up the cat. <laughs> It's on the telephone. Scritches under chin, bumps on head with big hammer. No messages. Has anyone ever made a video of a giant inflatable hammer punching a cat over and over? Mm, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Why would anyone do that, Chris? Look at all of his figures. Oh, this guy sucks. He's got an N64, Chris. He's just as uncool as I am. That's what makes him the coolest. <laughs> Aww. Uh, he's got a weird looking mouth. Right? Jesus! Cat broke its legs to do that. <laughs> See, just after killing people, you just gotta chill out. I like it. Alright. Go to the fridge. We no! went to the dang fridge. He went to the yellow zone. We're going to the smell Take zone. Take me to the yellow zone. I'm leaving my house. It is quite the smell of zone. Whoopsies. Ooh, this is like a... Are you gonna go around and like mow people's lawns and shit? Can you really you, drive around? That's what time it is. No way. Yeah, you can. Are you... Well, well, actually, I have to... Okay, they make you do the story thing first, so I have to do the story. Aww. I have to get into a limo and go to a party and make new friends and get drunk. <laughs> I, I can't hate wait. this. Mm. I can see her brassiere. Mm. I would like to see just a little more than that. I would like to see her teeth and her eyelashes, all in one plate. Oh, she's she's giving us the de the info for the next person we've got to, you know. I, yes? do, I don't think I follow. You know, a little bit of the old. <laughs> so you make that noise at him, and then what? Did, what does he do? No, no, it's it's you know, it's like a little bit of the old. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What's he doing? He just he's thinking what we're thinking. He wants to see the couch. <laughs> yeah. He wants to see what's This guy's okay. kind of a uh, badass. Right, right. And what's better than ah, this cute paper, little anime I've been shirt? attacked! My greatest weakness! Rock is defeated by paper! <laughs> and you know I'm 100% pure rock and roll! Uh, I'm ripping you off, cock and pole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, story. In between every person he's gotta kill, he has to pay to get into the entrance thing to kill them. So to make the money to kill more people, to get paid to kill more people? You gotta pay your way in. Mm -hmm. That you, sucks. You gotta mow lawns and do chores and shit. Really? Yes. That's funny. Can you play Shenmue 1 on Steam? Uh, can you? Right? I don't know. I know you can play 3. Oh, it's one of those guys! Oh yeah, one of the guys you chopped the millions of heads off of? That might just be a asset reuse kind of thing. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> His screams are good. And this guy made what other games? Killer7. Mm -hmm. uh, and Lollipop Chainsaw. He made Lollipop Chainsaw? Yes. Good game. Go on then. Alright. So we gotta come here. And we gotta get to cute little jobs. To entertainment? Mm-hmm. Travis, welcome. 
So there's two types of jobs. Boring killing person. jobs and boring jobs. Right now, we doing killing jobs. Wow, we Go. <laughs> okay, she told us there are no killing jobs, so that means we gotta go mow lawns to get killing jobs. Oh. Sounds good to me. This is what I was saying, where it, like this place that you live around, it li literally, all of LA just looks like this. I think <laughs> I think this place is just based off LA. Yeah, you're right. I mean, honestly. I'm gonna call a dude to bring me my freaking bike. Come on, man, bring that shit here. Oh, wow. What a nice friend. Who's that? Hey, Chris, do you want to try driving your bike around? I love driving. On the minimap, we're trying to go to that little pink guy, the little handy guy down there. Gotcha. Can you do skids? Ooh. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. That's a break. Can you do smears? Okay. That's, That's nice. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, okay. hey, you tried. Okay, can I... Didn't they kind of get rid of the, uh, the, the open world over? city in the second one? Yeah, yeah. In the second one, there is no open world, which sucks. Okay. Well, there's got to be a... Ooh. Different... Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't even know that was in the game. Oh! Oh, you're hitting the nitro, Chris. There's got to be a super turn, right? There is There is a drift. What is it? If you hit the brake when you're turning really fucking hard. Oh, oh, oh my do, god! You can do, like, the Akira skid. This rocks. I'm faster than a speeding bullet. <laughs> Yippee! This is like LA. Ah! You can really Jesus, and he just goes so fast. <laughs> yeah, I know. I kind of like it. It's funny. It's goofy and weird. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look how good I am. Holy shit! <laughs> there you go. He is really stupid. No, no. no. These guys are kind of weird. You guys are kind of weird. Sorry, he's not used to when we babe out. <laughs> hey, babe, ready to babe out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting uncomfortable. Okay, what does this guy teach you? How to be cool? He teaches you how to skip his dialogue, that's for sure. Yeah, this guy, this guy just exists to give you, like, just jobs around town. Oh. Coconut collector. Okay, let's connect coconut. Yes. I'm gonna be the best coconut collector in the whole world. If only you had this kind of drive in real life. I this, collect coconuts. This game is all about what it's like to be a fucking deadbeat, so now you even have to drive to your job. It's about how mundane and horrible life is. That's like Shenmue. Yeah. I, I like Shenmue though, because it's funny. You know, I actually really want to try playing that. I like Shenmue. I haven't played two, but uh, we, we tried three and it was so boring. It was just not enjoyable at all. Shenmue 1 is perfect because it has so much weird deliveries and everyone's so fucking weird in that yeah, game. I kind of hate on people who watch YouTube videos of like, like, like long plays. Like if you watch a long play instead of playing a game, I kind of like don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Why? Because it's like, I understand a let's play because you're watching the guys like say stuff. Like mm. right now. Uh, but if you're watching a long play just to like not play a game, then why even play it? But I broke my own rule and watched a long play of Shenmue One while I was working, <laughs> and let me tell you, yeah, god damn, it was f I couldn't stop fucking watching it. I, know, I think Shenmue One's cool. It was like, okay, what am I doing? You gotta collect coconuts, dude. Yeah, I you gotta. gotta are they are you on gotta my bike? Punch? No, no, no. 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 Oh. You gotta like punch trees or something. Oh yeah, there you go. Lyle's got it. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Ooh. All right, now grab those. You can only pick up one at a time. Huh. Yeah. Oh, no, I was wrong. I'm an idiot. It. Oh, look at him go. This game is so good. Where do you just, do you just bring it to the guy? I forget. Oh, A. Oh, A helps you. My bad. There you go. That's easy. It is easy. <laughs> it's yeah. easy to see. Okay, so. Why, you're so cool. Dude, um, what is this, fucking Minecraft oh, wall? Okay. Can you pick up three? Uh -huh. Yeah, what is your capacity for coconuts? Oh, fuck. I could do this in real life, no fucking problem. Well, I always I'm, thought you were kind of crazy in the coconut. You can get three. Yay! Go, 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 go. Come on, Chris, go. come on, run! I do it, and I'm such a good Chris. coconut man. This is definitely something I would not play unless you guys were here. <laughs> Why not? You uh, kill people, you get coconuts. I think this is funny, but it's also like, oh, oh god damn it. This is yeah, stupid. I, I remembered not. In particular, liking this aspect of the game when I was uh, when oh, I was playing it the first it's time. It's freaking charming. It's charming, but it's also like this is not what I want to be doing. Chris, this is what having a job in real life is like. It's really not though, because yeah. this lasts for like one minute. <laughs> yeah, Chris, the guy's the other way, Chris. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> when you guys are working uh, or doing something that takes a long time, do you ever think like, don't worry, this is only this lasts about as long as like uh, a feature length movie or like Lord of the Rings one? No, yes, I actually. would never think that to like encourage myself. I, I used to, but then I realized how stupid that was. No, no, I actually do that. <laughs> oh my god! There's there's two on that tree next to you. Oh, yeah. If you grab those first. What is it? When I was when I was young, I would get nervous and my little mommy would run errands and she'd be like, Don't worry, little boy, I'll be gone for two Pokemon episodes. Yeah. yeah. And I would say, Oh, <laughs> And then it made me feel oh, better. thank you, mother. <laughs> I now comprehend it. But then it would suck if two Pokemon episodes didn't play. I know. <laughs> and then they don't. Go! Now that I'm, I'm an adult, uh, 40 minutes to me is like nothing at all. I'm really nervous I, about that, yeah. I can sit in a, in a waiting room doing literally nothing for 40 minutes and I'm fine. But I yes. remember back in the day, 40 minutes was like never-ending torture in like school. Yes. Yeah. yeah. An hour and a half of doing something that I didn't want to have to do, like being at fucking Macy's or some shit, yeah. made me feel fucking the child equivalent oh, of yeah, suicidal. Yeah, you gotta get that back to that guy. But like fucking... Oh, yeah, Christ. no, now I feel so stupid. I can stare out the window for an hour straight and not feel any pain. And I'm ashamed. Isn't that weird? That's easy. Good job. How's 11 coconuts on the coca meter? I think that's an S. That, I mean, that's S rank coconut gathering, isn't Whoa, it? Whoa, not can't be. I guess we'll see. Dude, oh. that, yeah, gold yeah, ranking. You're, you're a gold ranking coconut gatherer, not Chris. Not bad, dude. I'm Put that on a resume. You. you third rater. What? Yeah, he, well, uh, he, he actually like he's raider. above you. Because you're doing his freaking dirty work. You just helped him run his coconut stand. You just did all this fucking work for him, Chris. Not bad. And he's gonna say, "I picked these myself Ex to his customers." Exactly. I pity the fool. Burjoice piece of shit. Ooh, new assassination. See, now mission. you can kill. Yeah. Now you can kill. You get the coconuts to get the blood, Chris. I'm crazy in the coconut. The blood nuts. <laughs> the blood nuts. That boy needs therapy. Hello, Hello Travis. I'm Travis. Uh, I always like it. Have you ever seen Train Spotting? No. no. I really want to, though. I've heard it's really good. It's a good movie. I don't know nothing about it. There's a. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one horrible spoiler. Okay. This is the biggest spoiler in the movie. There's a part where a woman walks into the room and he goes, Hello. <laughs> well, now I can't watch it. <laughs> well, thanks for ruining it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'll never watch it now. That is a great movie, though. What What is it actually about? <laughs> it's about heroin addicts. Oh. You know what? You were, watch you were just casually watching that when you were over at the office one time. Probably. And it was making me fucking depressed because they look all junked out. They are. Yeah, that's sad. Obi Wan is in it. What? Yeah, he's the main junkie. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know why this fucking. We were getting food the other day, and Dave was talking to our friend about, like, uh, what was it? The movie Norbit. Why were you doing that? Okay, I don't no, know. no. I, no, no, okay, no, I know you're gonna say, I just wanna explain. <laughs> no, let's, let's tell the story. I would like to explain myself. Okay, so. <laughs> The no, words, it was funny. You, yes, you were right. Yes. Okay, I was I was talking about I asked somebody, oh, they they said like, "Can you guess my favorite movie or some shit?" And I was like, "Is it Norbit?" And they were like they're like, "Um, no. It's not Norbit." <laughs> and I was like, "Why not? It's funny." And they're like, "Norbit's not funny. It's sad." I was like, "Why why is Who it sad?" Who the fuck is this impression you're doing? <laughs> this this is this, this Hey, I'm, no, I'm not naming names. I gotta do confidentiality. I, knew, I, I saw everyone at the table. I don't remember anyone sounding like that. I don't want to out anybody for not liking Norbit. Anyway, listen. <laughs> You're saying it like they're a dork. <laughs> no, yeah, well, hey, listen. I'm the one telling the story, <laughs> okay, all right? sorry. Go on. So, li so they're like, oh, yeah, Norbit's sad. I was like, how? Like, Lyle, sad? Lyle was backing me up. He was like, how is Norbit sad? And they're like, oh, it's about, like, it's about spousal abuse. Isn't that sad that what? they can't get away from the, the abuse of the spouse? And I was like, well, well, Lyle was like, oh, well, I haven't seen it, but maybe, maybe it's funny in the context of the film. And she's like, I don't know. She's like, how is that funny? People hit, <laughs> how is that people hitting each other? Wouldn't that be sad? So I legitimately- But buddy hits people with a hammer that, that's, is funny. That's what I said. I said, is Tom and Jerry sad? And, and the, it's like, no, the answer is no. Tom and Jerry's not fucking sad. So I mean, like, Lyle's right. In the context of something, yes, physically hurting each other can be funny. Chris, what are you doing? Kill these guys. I'm trying. I'm getting scared. <laughs> you Look, can do there's it. Too well, many I, of them. I mean, they were saying that in, in Norbit, Norbit itself goes like, isn't this sad? No, no, they were saying that Nor just Norbit was sad in general, I think. 
<laughs> I did not do that right. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. You can just mash through it. I hate you guys. You always hurt me. <laughs> sorry, go on. I'm sorry for ruining your story. No, no. I mean, that. that I, I that think that particular it. person, as much as I love them, I think that they didn't really understand the premise of Norbit. Because they didn't even know that, uh, they didn't even know that Eddie Murphy was also the fat lady. I've literally never seen Norbit, but I knew it was about Eddie Murphy being ah. a really fat woman. Yeah, Eddie Murphy is a fat woman, and he's a skinny man. Chris, Chris, quick, you gotta go kill the target. And he's a clump. Both Norbits Chris, are Eddie the, the Murphy. Target, the target, Chris. Oh no. Oh, what? No. What? You're really determined to kill everybody but the guy you're supposed to be killing. <laughs> Why yeah, I just killed them yeah, all. I know. Oh, there's a timer! <laughs> yes. Are you play? <laughs> I'm okay. scared. Okay. <laughs> I can show you my Norbit. But Chris, my little Norbit. I've actually never seen Norbit. Have you guys seen that? No. I haven't seen it either. I remember I saw the trailer and I said, that looks... Like what? it might ruin all other media for me if I see it. <laughs> it it'll be too good. Yeah. That's, that's also what I said. Oh, fuck. Well, we're cut from the same loincloth. Exactly. I don't. I don't like what Norbit will do to me sexually. I don't like what it'll do for my standards. And it'll make you physically repulsive. I think Norbit would change me, for the better. I don't know. Let's just pray we never find out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I'm glad to know that even when you know how to play this fucking game, that still happens to you. No, Kill that guy! <laughs> That's yeah. why I don't like motion control. Shit doesn't work, like, one third of the time. It's really fucking annoying. You know, uh, it, it works pretty charming. well, like, I've, I've got a fucking, uh, Oculus. Yeah. And it works, like, 100% of the time on that. Yeah. So, like, what? Those games are designed around it better. What have they tapped into for those that they didn't hear, you Just know? the Wii remotes weren't that great at, like... Yeah. Yeah, no, the Wii was just, like, whatever. And then they had the Wii Plus, and it was slightly better. No, the Wii Plus is actually a lot better. Yeah, but we're I, playing on the Switch. And right. Just the same that should but, be, really. But, that should be a lot, lot better, no, right? But, but this game is, like, programmed for Wii, so it's using that style of shit. Well, and maybe they should have made it better. It, yeah. the, the budget studio guys, come on. <laughs> come on. You keep saying that, but you won't prove it. <laughs> Literally look at this whole game. I think it's I think it looks good for the time. I think yeah, I mean it looks like it came out in 2006. Am I wrong? Am I right? That you're pretty you're about one year right. off. It's like 2007. Wow. So you can you nailed it. Okay. That's the line between an insult and an accurate assessment. Was <laughs> that one year? I mean, and I you think crossed I was, it, I was Buster. I pretty on the spot though. Do you guys feel sad when people insult stuff by saying it looks like a PS2 game? No, I love the PS2 aesthetic. Yeah, but I feel like when people say, like, Ew, this looks like a PS2 game, that makes me feel sad I actually in my heart. think, I think the PS1 has the best aesthetic, PS2 has second best, PS3, it starts getting gross, and then PS4 starts getting good again. <laughs> I would say the PS3 is gross, but I really like the way Demon Souls looks, so I think just everyone else did it wrong but them. I think Demon Souls actually looks awful, but... The atmosphere and the colors just seem to work for some reason. <laughs> like, the models themselves really don't look good in that game, but... Oh, I, I disagree. It's I'm one of those, sorry. No, but I I agree with you slightly. It's it's that, uh... It's one of those things where your brain fills in the blanks because there's less detail. That's fair. Boink. I think on a technical level, yeah. It doesn't look great, but I still prefer how it looks over the new one. Okay. The new one has more polygons, but the designs are ruined. I think if you look at, like, shitty shovelware for the PS2, like, that is a really ugly... Like, if you play, like, Mission Impossible or something, <laughs> yeah. like, that is a super ugly era for when stuff was trying to be hey, like... Come here, you. Look, it's real people. Certain things just... Yeah, it depends on how stylized they are. Like, I think this looks really good. Yeah. This is my favorite aesthetic, like the kind of anime PS2 era, like Resident Evil 4. Love it. Yeah, no, this stuff is awesome. I miss this! It's I, always Capcom I, shit. What, what, what is this? This isn't Capcom, is it? No, no this is Grasshopper no. Manufacturer. Okay. I also like old uh, Sega arcade shit. Yeah, that stuff is very, very good. Looks beautiful. Yeah, I like good sprite art. Good that, sp that, I think, is aged better than most, like, 3D graphics have. Everyone loves some good sprite art. Who I like, doesn't? I'll I kick their ass. Exactly. Thank you, Lyle. I like uh, how Ape Escape 1 looked. Ape Escape 1 looks so fucking good. Yeah. Literally so, so, so good. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick shit. Ooh, Ape Escape 1 has also awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
the sigh immediately after the huge... You're going to fill up your memory <laughs> card if you keep fucking taking those. Stop blocking your memory uh, card. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Dave. Oh, my God. Did you hear that Daft Punk threw up in each other's helmets, and that's why they're not friends anymore? <laughs> that's why they're called Daft Punk. <laughs> Daft Punk. Is that real? Yeah. They're not friends anymore? Yeah, they were like, You throwing up in my helmet! I, I throwing up in your helmet! And, and then they threw them up like in... a German accent. Isn't that what they I, are? I think they're French. Oh, so, okay, well, you throwing... She's throwing up in... Yeah. <laughs> that's more like Swiss car. You are throwing up in my helmet. I will you not throwing up be in, up in helmet. your helmet. And then they threw up in each other's helmets. Did you know that the French are considered subhuman? <laughs> I mean, I knew I thought of them that way. I didn't know that was universal. I was just joking, but you showed your true colors this day. Yeah, my colors are red, white, and blue. The French flag. Damn motherfucker. No. They, they, no. no. <laughs> I've actually, like, had French people pretend that they don't know how to speak English near me when I ask them shit. And then I'll hear them having conversations in English when I walk away from them. That's actually fucking real. If I had that happen, I would fucking stick my finger up my ass to the knuckle, get a big old <laughs> smear, and fucking thing. poke them in the eyes. That really to is To my heinous. knuckle. Wow, why would you do that? I don't like it. It's a it. weapon. It's like a scorpion coating its stinger in poison. <laughs> oh, Lyle, don't say that. You're gonna give kids ideas. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh, no, you're not gonna, like, hurt this guy, right? No. Chris. No, you play. No, no, this is a you this thing. This is a Dave. This is a <laughs> Dave time, okay. okay? Look at our baseball hat. Uh, Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can just spam that. Yeah, and then do this. <laughs> Am I right in the assessment that, like, with the Wii motion controller, it really didn't care what direction yes. you were swinging you shit? Can, you can do it. As long as you're moving it, it'll do it. Like, what? Well, uh, maybe. Well, you proved yourself wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe the switch is yeah, a little that, more Yeah, you sensitive. flicked that up. Yeah. I saw. I saw. Oh, these are sports fans when you say you don't like the same sports team as them. Which is all of them. Yeah, exactly. They're like, oh, you're an Angels fan. I'm an Angels fan that likes the Angels from the mid-2000s and not right now, so I'm mad. Oh, uh, you don't like the sport I like. Do you feel like people who like sports deserve to be treated like this? They're fucking nerds, and I'm tired of pretending they're not. <laughs> and I'm tired of pretending they're not. <laughs> and I'm tired of... You're, you're right, though. They act like nerds. But they're I mean, it's essentially the same thing. They're willing to gamble on the thing they they're like. They're basically nerds who are ashamed of being nerds. Dude, when that, yeah, like you're not playing the fucking sport. So it's like when you're talking about some guy's like stats as a kicker, you might as well be talking about fucking blue decks and magic the gathering, you know? If there's I, I've said it before, the the number one person who pisses me off in the world are sports fans. They're like fat dads who go to the bar and they're like that fucking guy is so fucking stupid. He's talking about like sports players, like as if they know how to do any better. Yeah. It's like, why, why are you here? <laughs> okay, I want to ask you guys this. When you meet somebody who likes sports that assumes that you like sports, if they say like, huh, watch uh, the, the Bengals this year, what do you say to that? I just, like, no. just to say no. Re you really? I don't have cable. You, oh, you'll actually say just no. No, oh, I'll actually what, just say no. Make up shit? Yeah. What, do you yeah, pretend to watch it. sports? Well, no, I was, I'll like... I'll That's just, gonna lead you into conversationally, like, so many more bad I, places I, where you have to, like, grit your teeth and kind of pretend like you've seen it. They're just weird middle Americans who, like, don't understand people who don't watch sports. So people will be like, huh. I'll, they'll be like, I've recently... The guy was like, where are you from? I was like, PA. He's like, huh, watch the Eagles this year? I was just, <laughs> just like... Uh, yeah, all the time, Dave, every day. All you gotta be is be like, no, I'm a dork. I'll be like, I will suck your cock for money. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing you jump to. <laughs> yeah. Just to get him off my I case. I will suck your cock for money. Stop talking about sports. <laughs> How else do you get that to stop? Honestly. Just be like, the animal? <laughs> <laughs> He would just start punching you. He would start beating you and breaking you. <laughs> Easy. Listen. Dave, you should do that. Please promise me next time someone asks you about the Eagles, you say, They got big talons and a big beak. <laughs> I will, Chris, just for you.
You gotta no. Here's what you say to him. This will make him mad. You say I'm a Patriots fan. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You could do that. That's like the universal. No matter who they are, as long as they are not also a Patriots fan, they will hate the Patriots. So, you so only... that'll get you out of the conversation and the potential for a friendship with them. So you only watch women's sports. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, accuse them of being gay, too. <laughs> So you, you Who wants to watch fucking dudes' asses in the camera jiggle around as they run? I'll be like, you can't bring yourself to watch men's sports when there's so many female athletes out there. Yeah, he'll be like, you watch the Eagles? I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, with my husband? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Showing a ball at you. <laughs> Jesus. I dodged that dang ball. Do you plus, you plus dodge? He's got a silly texture on his head. <laughs> he looks good. Time to play ball, Chris. Let's do it. Oh my god. All right. This is the silliest game I've ever seen. No, it's cool. All right, check this out. This guy's a fucking dickhead. It's really hard to hit. The... Oh. I suck. Look, I suck at baseball. In games in real life, I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> and look, they'll all explode into blood now. That's fun. That's awesome. Woo! Thank you, video game. Thank you, video You've shown game. me that there is still good in the world. Look, Chris, this little window has pizza like we just had. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe you guys have never played this before. I, well, play, I have I, played okay, this. No, I can't believe you've never played it on the channel before. Oh, oh no. You're right, this is something we should have played. Lyle, I can believe you played this before, especially since you're the main fucking character it's based on. That is true facts. Now, I like to- you know what we should try to- They haven't ported that to anything, have they? Beautiful Joe. Have yeah. they ported that to fucking oh, anything? That, yes, the game is so good! It actually is, and it's like this too where it's goofy. Is Beautiful Joe- does he make a cameo in the Wonderful 101? He might. Wonderful 101 is like the same art style. Yeah. Is it the same creator as well? Yeah, yeah, it's Kamiya. Yeah. Hideki Kamiya. Hideki. Because he worked at Capcom, but then had his own studio. Dude, I got my Kamiya block on Twitter in the lamest fucking way. Somebody else was being annoying and just at-tagged me and him. Oh, and that's so he blocked suck. he blocked me and presumably the guy. Chris, Kamiya is a like he's kinda like a he's got a he's got a weird internet persona where like he feel he acts super annoyed constantly, and if you bother him with anything online, he'll call you a fucking idiot and block you. <laughs> he'll and, even and, like he'll be like, I, I love your games, uh, and he'll say thank you, blocked, <laughs> just shit like that. <laughs> so it's like it is kind of like a joke. That's funny. But uh, yeah, I, I I'm just mad that I didn't even fucking earn mine. Some other asshole gave it to me. I'm sorry, yeah. love. There we go. This is sad. Yeah. It's just sad as all. Camille, unblock me, and then I'll say one thing to you, and then you can block me again. That, that is my wish. I like him too much to get blocked. I don't want it to happen. He made Resident Evil 2. Did he really? Yeah, the guy who made Devil May Cry made Resident Evil 2. And Bayonetta. And Resident Evil 4, right? He was gonna make Resident Evil 4, but then his is the version that turned into Devil May Cry 1. Oh. He was gonna make Resident Evil 4, and then he just didn't feel like it. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. He almost got in, like, a ton of trouble and had to, like, have all that shit deleted, but then, yeah, like... That's a very happy story. Yeah, the RE1 creator was like, let him make his own game and I'll make Resident Evil 4, and Capcom said okay. So it all worked out. Yummy! The guy who made Resident Evil 1 made Resident Evil 4? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Joe is Capcom, though, isn't it? It is. That was so it, that can come back, or is there weird rights to it? Well, Camille works for Platinum now, right? And makes like near Automata and stuff like that. Well, I'm just saying for like a fucking remaster. Or something. Oh yeah, yeah. No, they they've got it. They can bring it back whenever they feel like it. And they won't. Oh fuck, that's a fast. I feel one. like Beautiful Joe is actually a very similar character to Travis Touchdown. A little bit, yeah. Cause he's just like some punk ass bitch. He's like watching movies at the theater with his girl. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And he says, Hinge you to go, go, baby! Chris, the Wii needed video games. This guy came and he made a video game. He came. He came. He cleaned it up. <laughs> and he conquered. I think it's really cool how, like, he made the Devil May Cry 1, which was okay. Mm -hmm. And then 2 sucked ungodly cock. 
because he wasn't allowed to make it, they gave it to other people. And then three was just like it's just cool that three it really hit its stride, and that's the one that everyone really remembers. Three, yeah. I think, is still the best one, it even could, yes, with like fire yes. floating around. It's just cool that it, it could take three games for something to hit its stride, but it doesn't matter. Games are kind of weird like that, huh? Yeah. Where movies, it's usually like the first one's the best one, it's like all downhill from there. But games, it's always like... It's always the second one's the best when it comes to games. Yeah, it's it's like the second or the third, usually. The third one, they're like running out of ideas. We're teaching all these Bengals fan a damn lesson. Don't you dare talk to me at the bar. <laughs> Let me drink my cider. Devil May Cry 3 was the best one. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil 2 was my favorite, and then 4 as well. I do like 5, but I feel like the levels kind of suck. Yeah. 5 is fun, but it's not fucking scary at all. It's Ouch. way more fun with an actual friend, though. It is. I finally played a co-op recently for the first time ever and fucking loved it, actually. Wait, yeah. does it have co-op? Yeah, Resident Evil yeah. 5, me and you played it. What do you mean? Resident Evil 5 co-op. Oh, Africa. Resident Evil 5. I thought you, I was talking about Devil May Cry. <laughs> That would be a weird call. Devil May Cry 5 is weird because it has multiplayer. Does it? What? Yeah, what are you but talking you, about? Yeah, you, remember you'll be in the middle of a level and then some other guy will like come oh, in and he'll yes. be like across the street right. killing dudes and you can wave at him. Okay. Really? Okay, so in Devil May Cry 5, in some of the levels, like for cinematic effect, like somewhere else there will be like one of your, you know, friends because there's three people. There's, uh,. Nero, Dante, and V. Mm. So it's sometimes in some levels, Nero or Dante, depending on who you are, is with you fighting stuff. And the AI will control it. But sometimes it'll load in somebody from online who's playing the same level. So it's all single player, but it's somebody else who's playing a different campaign as that character. Wow. That just seems like a lot of work to include that and then not include like actual co-op. Unless it works in a weird way that I'm not aware of, like it might it might be like a ghost player or something, you know what I mean? Where it might have like recorded their, their button data. inputs and so I, like if it if it was somebody that you knew, they could be like, oh, I'm not doing that right now, yeah. and you'd be like, what? I, I actually don't know. I mean, I think it is in real time because I've had some really like hilarious interactions with some of them, where like our characters went up to each other and like rubbed against each other. <laughs> I don't know that. Why the fuck didn't they just put co-op in it? Because asymmetrical multiplayer is fun. Mm. That guy did not fucking deserve that. <laughs> or this. And they're not going to oh, deserve shit. this either. Oh my god. That filter is like Photoshop. Yeah. Emboss. Did you guys ever use Photoshop Elements before getting to use actual Photoshop as a young lad? No. Really? You just always had the actual full thing? Um... I don't know. I I used Paint Shop Pro for a long part of my life. What is that? It's a really shitty old program. I remember I learned Photoshop <laughs> like way, way back, a really long time ago, and I kind of knew how to use it. And like, they completely changed Photoshop since then, and now mm. I fucking suck balls at it. I can use it pretty good. <laughs> They're hurting me, Chris. Oh, <laughs> I love the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that guy on Twitter who makes uh, fake kaiju videos where it's just big monsters walking past skyscrapers? Yeah. I've seen a lot of videos like that. I don't know if I've seen the specific guy you're talking about. It's really funny because he's the best at it. He makes these amazing monster designs and he has them like walking by buildings and he makes it seem like it's uh, like, you know, just people on the street recording them. But because he's a Japanese dude, he hires like British, or not British, he hires American voice actors to be like the bystanders. And he, and he he makes them say the stupidest shit, it, like it, it's so on purpose or by accident. No, I think it's by accident. I, it's like I, I think it would be like if I hired a Japanese dude and he sucked dick, I wouldn't know. It's like I, I gotta find an example. It's always like they're watching a big monster walking by and they'll say stuff like, "Wow, oh my." <laughs> <laughs> but the video itself looks good. Yeah, no, it looks amazing. It's just it's always ruined by these like shitty voice actors. You're going, and they're like, dude. Oh! So do you feel like that makes it more charming? Kinda. See? It's so stupid, but it's uh, it at least reassures you that it's not real. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you get confused. If there was a big Grim Reaper shaking the Golden Gate Bridge, I don't know what I'd do. It's always just a. St it sounds like a fat American dude going, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah, it's always something like that. I love those fucking videos though. He makes these crazy scary looking monsters just walking by. 
Oops. Sorry, guys. My cellular device ring. Huh. <laughs> this is my babe. You're yeah, using all my minutes. Was that a thing in 2007? <laughs> oh my god, yes. remember when you had to buy credit? And roll over minutes? That sucked. When they stop doing that? When did they stop doing minutes? I don't know. They still put it like, oh, unlimited call. Like, it's not like a thing that everybody does. I just remember having to go to the, like, uh, petrol station and be like, I need uh, $10 worth of credit. And they were like, you look so fucking stupid right now. Shut up! I'm like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. Actually, no. Uh, I we sell dollars. gas here. You want some gas with that? And you're like, uh. You can only buy minutes if you buy gas. That Open would your suck. mouth. I, I, Open up. <laughs> I bet, I literally bet you someone's done that before. What? Held like minutes hostage or like certain cards hostage for fucking people buying other shit. Maybe you're right. Dude, I had, man, I've been like poor my whole life and like, it was only just a few years ago that I was still buying the fucking Virgin Mobile top-up cards to fill my Android <laughs> phone. That shit's ass. This is ass. That's it, why I can relate to Travis Touchdown. It rocks when you're an adult and you can be like, I want a plan, please. And I say, oh, okay. You're not gonna save your game? You know what? You are actually You right. gave me Dave, so much shit. I was gonna grab help then save. You gotta save, Dave. Dude, Travis doesn't even put the toilet paper on the seat before just publicly going somewhere. He really doesn't give a fuck. When just I go, go to a public to restroom, bowl. I piss all of the germs off the seat. That's a good way to do it. Because piss is sterile. Yeah. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Nye, 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 nye. He's so skinny and cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird that you just said that about a guy in a video game we're playing. <laughs> I'm comfortable about my sexuality to say I want to fuck him. I'm so insecure that I feel like you just made me realize I'm really fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> you always gave off like gay energy. <laughs> Thanks. All right, you're making it awkward. I didn't follow it up with another joke. Joke. Editor, help me out here. Editor, put Edit gay me. porn <laughs> on screen. Edit Dave <laughs> straight right now. <laughs> Don't you like this guy? He can sing just like you. <laughs> What's Shut he doing? Up. He's performing. These are the last moments of his life before he's got to fight to save his own life, Chris. Wouldn't you sing your heart out if you knew you might die in the next, like, ten minutes? I wish I could hit that note. Ah! It's hard. Wow. Nice set of pipes you got there, old man. Ah, old! <laughs> No! Gentlemen from the association told me I could have any stage I wanted. Any stage. <laughs> any stage. Courtesy of me and my entry fee, no doubt. Whoa, that was a shaky camera. They've got the Raimi influence in here, Chris. We dined at a fancy restaurant. One of those that are impossible to get a reservation for. And then after Chris. Huh? I paid for that by picking up Coconuts! <laughs> yeah, wow, well, got it. Pretty much every time you earn money, it goes to the assassins you're about to kill. <laughs> My entry fee. <laughs> He's an assassin? Yeah. He's a good singer. He's the top 10th ranking assassin. And he also knows a lot about restaurants. Yeah, and spending other people's money. He says, yeah, that's very tasty. Unfortunately, the atmosphere was a facade. Hmm. Not once did my own daughter look me in the eye. Aww. <laughs> it's about to get red hot, Chris. Red hot. Ooh, wow, that's kind of cool. Thanks. You should be like a voice actor or something. I'm in a lot of shows. I just I go under an alias. Is that actually true? Yep. Yep. Uh, he goes by man. Steve Blum. <laughs> look him up. <laughs> I make up a lot of names. Chris Sabat, Billy West. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. The 90s was my peak. I was Dan Castelletta. <laughs> I think I was this guy, too. <laughs> you just don't even remember that day in the booth. I was really high. It is weird that voice actors literally can just, like, get hired for a day in a booth and not remember any of it. That makes a lot of sense because they're, they're in so many of them. Just reading off of a script, it's not like they're seeing a visual to a lot of the stuff they're doing. Ooh, get him, Dave. I'm trying. I don't think oh, you should hurt the whoops. guy. What did wait. he ever do to you? Oh, <laughs> <was not> <laughs> <laughs> you 
He's charging. Yep. Woo. <laughs> You're mine, old man. Woo. So, Dave, I don't want to worry you, but he's absolutely destroying you so far. Nah, I got this. I've got no faith in Dave. Oh, come on. Me neither. I, I, I apologized for that. Kinda, sorta. I'll apologize when you win. Kinda, <laughs> sorta, not really, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the tiger in the top right? That's, uh, for if you get like a special thing, that'll be like the timer for how long you have it. Oh. Cause Travis is like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the tenacity of a tiger in your soul, Chris. You really think so? I think so. <laughs> tiger, Man, tiger. There are very few times when I wish we had face cam on this channel, but like, <laughs> what? What? The for fucking off? yeah, the, pumping that fucking thing to like recharge your sword oh. looks so fun. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh -oh, I remember some good. of the bosses in this game being really fucking hard. There, there were a handful that are like insane. But for the most part, they're just like goofy and fun. Uh oh. Did you ever play God Hand? Is that the same guy? Oh man, no. God Hand's by the guy who made Resident Evil 4. Knack, but that game is like this game where it's just like this low budget crazy action game. Yeah, God Hand, if you like see someone that actually knows how to play it, it's, it's, it's fucking fun crazy. to watch. Yeah, it's insane. Oh, Chris, you would love God Hand. It's you actually, really think so? It's probably like I did RE4 and RE1. Ooh. Yeah, uh, uh, Ding Dong used to always talk about it. I think it's one of his favorite games. It's like, it's one of those underrated gems that still to this day kind of hasn't caught on, so people, people like it. And it's hard. It's Do you see, like uh, it. you see fucking Metal Gear Rising is starting to catch on again? Yeah, I don't know how. Just completely out of nowhere? Yeah, people just like the music and the fucking memes and him punching the dude. It's I, because the fucking stories become relevant to the modern day, kinda. The villain is so oh. memorable in that game. Yeah. Well, people like it because he's like, ah, fuck all the celebrity bullshit. Yeah. So, so when there is celebrity bullshit, people just quote him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I like him more than Raiden. <laughs> Are you talking about Jetstream Sam or like the senator he's, guy? He's like senator Armstrong. He's so fucking funny. He is awesome. Yeah, he's he, he's a great, like, final boss. He comes out of fucking nowhere, too. It's so weird. He used to play college ball, you know. Yeah, he's just so fucking huge. I love, the, what is it, towards, like, the end of the boss fight where he's just like, Fuck this war, I just want you dead, Jack. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's great. When, was, when did you play that, Chris? Watch Lyle play it. Yeah, we played it on the channel, like, a year ago or something. <laughs> you know, I actually do remember the thumbnail art for that, now that I think about it. That's yeah, we played all the way through one. it, too, because it was fun. Aw, nice. Did you play this DLC where you play as Jetstream Sam? No. No. Oh, you freaking little fools. I kind of forget Jetstream Sam. I mean, he was I the Spanish him. guy. I remember him, but I don't remember what he wanted or what he did. He uh, turned out to be cool all along. <laughs> Unlike Raiden. <laughs> oh, come on. No, he was cool in that game. Yeah, he's sick. Jetstream Sam wants you to learn how to be good with your sword. I like how Raiden is like an overcorrection from Metal Gear 2. Yeah. He was so fucking lame. It became too fucking cool. Yeah, they did Can it in be too cool? Metal Gear Solid 4 first, and then they made that game. Which is fine. But yeah, they really did, like, overcorrect him. Because <laughs> even in Metal Gear Solid 4, he, like, gets all of his limbs cut off, and he's like, I'll fight everyone with a sword in my mouth, and then he does it. Right, we got this guy by the balls now. You did great, Dave. This is blowing my mind. It's fun. Ow, Jesus. What a freaking... Wait, we what? shot you right up the asshole. Playtime is over. It's like a western, Chris. Over. He's not gonna... He's not gonna draw, is he? Oh, I actually fucked up. I didn't hit the R button. <laughs> that is not the... What? Does it make you redo that whole thing? Oh no. <laughs> Dave. Oh no. Oh no, Dave. No way, really? Oh fuck. Oh Ooh. no, Dave. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh fuck. You did not earn your apology. All right. Here we are again. Say it with me. I do believe in Dave. I do uh, believe I, in I, Dave. I, I, I do believe, believe in, in Dave. Dave. I promise I won't mess this up this time. I swear. Don't you be ducky! Okay. Oh, hello. Here, watch, we got this. 
So I'm gonna run back to him, and this time I won't freak oh, it up. I won't freak oh, it up. you're on TV. You better not. Okay, don't get what ready. Was it? This. Oh, I, think it was I want to say it was R, but don't get too comfortable. Oh, Jesus. Don't get too it's comfortable in your own skin. <laughs> oh, Dave, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> oh! I hate you so much. I'm Oh, you're still alive. Oh, what you that, that isn't a one-shot kill. You were just so close to losing last time. Uh, so it's ZL. ZL, okay. But it might no, change. No, it changes. Does it? B. <laughs> <laughs> That's fast. Holy shit. You are the biggest binky baby that, bitch that, is, that has ever that played this fucking game. I, you know what's funny? There's a box of health right there, too. <laughs> All right, listen. I can do this quick. I can do it quick. I can do it quick. Yeah. I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was cool that he fucked up horribly. I think that was, you were a, a good loser, dude. That makes me sad because when I played this on Wii, I never even once did that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a really small fucking window it gives you. I feel like also the Switch uh, controller doesn't have buttons that read in a way that you actually know what they are. I see fucking ZL and I'm I don't know what that is in my mind's eye. I see R2 and immediately I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I feel like I definitely would have played this back in the day had I, like, seen anything to do with it. Dave, if you made a bet with somebody that you had to wear a bolo for a full month, but they'd give you a thousand dollars, would you do it? Wear a what? A bolo. It's a bolo. It's that thing he's got around his neck. For a whole month? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Honestly, I would lean into it. I would go full cowboy for the month. <laughs> bolo. Well, you can't I mean, tell anyone it's a bet. They just have to think that you're wearing a bolo because you like Oh, wow, that does like horrible them. damage. Look at that. <laughs> you mean that weird, like... Oh, is it called a bolo because it's like a low bow tie? I have no idea. I just know that that's what it's called. You gotta make makes them look kind of sexy just a little bit. Just kind of, sort of. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. Are you gonna get hit by that every time it happens? I'm kind of shit at this game now that I've been about it. or something. <laughs> There you go, see? <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna give you a button like X or Y and you're not gonna know where it that is, is on the fucking fuck Switch me. controller. If I fuck this up one more time, I, I think we're fucked. <laughs> People are gonna give me shit for this. They're gonna say that I'm the worst No More Heroes player in the world. Probably, like but also I think it's bullshit because all these different controllers have different X, Y, A, B layouts, so it's just confusing. Yeah, they need to decide on a universal. Like phone chargers, they finally just decided on USB-C, and they're sticking with it. That's- okay, that should have been that way from the start. No, I agree. Did you do it? Please tell me you just did that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, now it's so much more satisfying now that I had to earn it. We are on the board. Got mm. anything to say to the crowd? <laughs> well, honestly, I think he kind of fucking deserved it the way he killed me a few times. I agree. Going to the mic. It's open mic night in hell, old man. <laughs> <laughs> All Whoa. right, you know, that's he said it better than anything I could have said. Well, that was silly. He <laughs> should have taken his cool gun. The way his ass is up in the air makes me feel feelings. Makes me feel silly. <laughs> Should have played that thing like a bongo. <laughs> With my wiener. Oh, come on, Dave. What's that drum wiener. game you were playing called? Donkey Bonga. No, no, not that. That game fucking sucks. I was playing Taiko Drum Master. Yeah. Do Honky. that on his ass. <laughs> also, fuck you for saying Donkey Konga sucks. You could play Rock Lobster on that game. Yeah. But you can play Head Chala and Taiko Drum Master. <laughs> I remember I freaking loved Donkey Kong Jungle Beat when I what first got it. That game is so fucking satisfying because you can <laughs> pound on the bongos yeah. and Donkey Kong will fucking beat some guy's face into mashed potatoes. I remember the, the controls were a little funny, about? but yeah, as, as soon as you're wailing on a boss, it felt so good. Yep. Game set. Yippee! Donkey Kong goes, I felt like the controller was unresponsive, and it fucked me. It fucked me. Dude, you're playing a fucking Wii game right now, dude. Yeah. You're playing a fucking- you want to talk about unresponsive controls, my dude. Yeah. My guy, my dude. Yeah. I mean, this felt pretty responsive. It responded to me slicing that guy into a million pieces. Well, then why did you fail it 14 times? <sighs> you're really foregoing your opportunity to bitch about it, then. 
You're making an ass of yourself. Dang. You guys are starting to piss me off. <laughs> oh, you're really Ooh. starting to Star Wars me. You ever wonder sometimes that maybe Elliot Rogers has had the right idea? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, me neither. Not even remotely. Yeah, not even. I don't, know, I don't even know why I said that, actually. What voicemail do we have? He has a pretty nice little house. It's that guy calling you again, just going, oh! <laughs> Just dying out of the baseball field. <laughs> <laughs> but they vacuumed him up. Oh, he's got a girl in a picture. Yeah. He's in love. He is. With he's in love with all those girls, too. It's the pornography store calling him to tell me those tapes back. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Here's what fucks with me. Hmm. I think, I think this voice on the phone is the same voice as Travis himself. Oh, might be. You did say this was the lowest budget game ever made, right? I mean, maybe not the lowest budget, but this guy was working on strings and ham, I think. But, hey, he looks... Hey, he wasn't wearing glasses at the start of the cutscene. <laughs> well, he put them on. He put them on to listen to his messages. Hmm. He's got a big cactus in his room. Yeah. That's 10 California. years good luck. You know, actually, it wasn't until being in Pasadena. I just saw his air conditioner. You can't see it from here. It's like in the wall. It's not in the window. I didn't even know you could do that with air conditioners till recently. And you know what? I think it's pretty cool. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, like when, like poor people air conditioners where they just go in like the, the window? No, no, no. Well, it's like there, there's air conditioners where they just you cut a square into the wall and just put them in there. Mm. And I think that's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, that's, like, better. Yeah. yeah. I, it's, I mean, it's not central air, but it's, yeah, like, the fucking window air conditioners, those are the worst. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay. The cat loves you, dude. Yeah. Too bad I'm going to leave it to starve and die. I love they tried making having girl anime statues cool. I think it's actually really not. <laughs> <laughs> I, think the, I think the point is that... He's a loser? Yeah. No, he's cool. I just unlocked 50 billion things. I mean, his whole thing is he's going through all these lengths to have one singular sex. Yeah. He's not exactly the ultimate role model. And he's also an idiot because he's, like, earning money. He could just buy a prostitute twice with the same amount of money that he's using to, like, enter these guy-killing uh, competitions. That's unethical. <laughs> Well, that's besides well, the fucking point. You got me there, I guess. Okay, wait, no, we gotta do... We gotta do our part-time job for the day, guys. I hope it's <laughs> pulling a turd out of my head. <laughs> I don't think it will be that, I'm sorry. Lyle. You said that there's killing side missions, right? Where you get to kill dudes? Mm hmm but first we gotta do side missions where we unclog people's toilets and stuff. Do it's you, just like real life. Do you see the poo-poo doo-doo on, on the toilets? <laughs> <laughs> I almost hit that Wii Sports woman. <laughs> and now she's running away from you. Actually, Chris, have you played Wii Sports on the channel? No. <laughs> have you ever thought about it? Nah. Aw, uh, you gotta admit it'd be awesome. No interest. Oh, you don't like Wii Sports? Not really. What? It's the know. number one selling Wii game. It came with the Wii. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they still mark it down as the best selling one, which fucks up all the statistics. <laughs> nice car. You almost hit that Wii Sports woman. <laughs> and now she's running away from you. Actually, Chris, have you played Wii Sports on the channel? No. <laughs> have you ever thought about it? Nah. Aw, uh, you gotta admit it'd be awesome. No interest. Oh, you don't like Wii Sports? Not really. What? It's I don't the know. number one selling Wii game. It came with the Wii. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they still mark it down as the best selling one, which <laughs> of all the statistics. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought it was really boring. What? You don't like throwing baseball? You don't like throwing bowling for, ball? No, it, it was entertaining for like the first day I had it, and I was like, okay. I remember people would be like, playing it all the fucking time. I played it a good amount, because I was uh, just so there fucking... We go. I was so transfixed by the technology, I was like, can you imagine what they could do with this? And they mm -hmm. kind of never topped it. Yeah. Mm. I will say, I think the best game that uses gyro is probably, like, Splatoon. Because in Splatoon, you aim around with this like a mouse. Oh, yeah. I never played Splatoon. Well. But you're a squid kid. You're a squid now? You're a kid now? You guys don't like Splatoon? Never really got into it. Yeah, me neither. <sighs> Sigh. Well. I just thought it was like a, like a game for, like, little baby girls on their periods and stuff. <laughs> You could say that about all video games. No, I can't. Just that one. 
Did you go, oh! <laughs> yeah, like Mario. All right, let's see what this guy has to freaking say. Hey, man. No, it, it looked fine. I just, if I'm thinking like first person shooters, I, I don't think Nintendo netcode, you know, like those two things don't. It's the one Nintendo game that has good online, actually. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. I don't believe you, but I, I'm glad you think that. Do you have a Switch, Lyle? I do. Go home and play it. I feel like I permanently fucked up my dopamine because I don't get enjoyment out of certain things and I know Splatoon would just be one of them. Like mowing lawns? Uh, yeah. No, I don't know, like, I, I really, at, at this point, like, I, I, I don't know if I would, I would care either. It might be fucked up, but I get enjoyment out of, like, certain deaths in games because it's just funny. I don't know, I don't understand why. Seeing someone explode or, or scream before they die is what I enjoy. So if it's someone getting covered in paint and disappearing, I'm like, oh. Yeah, for shooters especially. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's that's like the gears. I think that's fair. But I also do think that's just because my brain is broken. I don't get enjoyment out of board games either. I get really bored instantly. Board, I, games, I, board I, games have always sucked. I don't care who wins. I don't care if I win. You don't have the competitive bone With, in your body? Chris? I like... Mm, not really. I like chess because chess makes me be like... Think the entire way through and then it is actually satisfying. But when it comes to like random chance things, I really don't give a shit. That's why Mario Party just pisses me off. Mario Party pisses I, me off too. Yeah, I love that game. That game is designed but to that piss that you off. I know. And I, I get zero enjoyment out of it. Well, that's just because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it was cool back on the N64, but they should have stopped making it. If you sorry to any Mario Party fans. And again, this is just how I feel, you guys. It's not fact for everybody. It's just me. No, you're trying to say this is an objective fact, and that makes you a fucking asshole, actually. Well, now that you say it like that, I guess <laughs> I am. Yeah, see? Well, nah. hey, at least we can agree on that. Mm. <laughs> Mario Kart, Chris, how about enjoyment from that? Dopamine uh, from that? I like Crash Team Racing because I can uh, play it with a friend, and there is actually still some skill to it. There's skill to using certain items. We used to turn off, like, the bullshit items, but we, we, we would keep on the bombs and the TNT and the nitros, and that would be fun. But, uh, games like Mario Kart, it really does just feel like it's bullshit and just anything can it's, It just feels like Mario Kart, but on a racetrack to me. I mean, it feels like Mario Party, but on a racetrack, my bad. Well, yeah, because it's got that, like, rubber banding thing where, like, the last place person gets crazy items. Yeah. You know what I never understood about Mario Kart? I never understood the blue shell. Yeah. Because the person in last place gets it. But they don't benefit from that at all. <laughs> it's literally just fucking with the person in first. Yeah. The, yeah the, the person in last place should get like a boost that like gets you to catch up with like the next person or something. Uh, well, I think, okay, here's the thing. But then if you're in fourth place, you're benefiting from the person who's in last place. You're sorry. Right. I mean, it's, it's an interesting item. It's just not like it's not one that helps the person that gets it. It's really strange. Okay, let's do a uh, batting. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of baseball and earn some quick cash. But yeah, I don't know. Like I, I feel like ever since the uh, the Wii, a lot of Nintendo stuff is just like really not resonated with me. And Splatoon is definitely one of those things where I just look at it and I go like, no part of me. Lyle looks is at the camera. Activated. Ever since I became a grown man who had to pay taxes, <laughs> I don't want to play games for seven year olds. Uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> no, pretty much, yeah. No, I don't know. Like, I, I like, I like games with like good stories, or fucking like, I like shit that feels like very, uh, I don't know, immersive. Like yeah. around 2006, I played like Elder Scrolls Oblivion, and I was like, man, this is what games should be. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's weird. Cause I think that game sucks, but I really like it. Um, That's how I feel. I, I like it too. I feel like it's so f full of soul, but it's so disgustingly awful. Yeah, it's like, it's crap, but I, it's, it's crap I like. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if that's mean. Yeah. Also, I don't think Nintendo games are for children. It's what I mostly play, but most... No, I, I, I just, like, the thi the stuff that I get out of games, like, a lot of Nintendo games just do not fulfill. Like, I, I don't know how else to put that. You're saying you want to play the Rat Killing Quest in FF7 Remake? Yes. No, no, not at all. Fuck. Not that. Because the thing about... Here's the thing about, like, like Oblivion, at least, and, and to a lesser extent, like, other Bethesda stuff that they've released since then, is, like, 
yeah, like every game is going to recycle content, but as I was running through the cave and killing my 47 millionth goblin, <laughs> I felt like I knew story-wise why I was doing that. Mm -hmm. There was always like a guy who's like, my wife is missing and, and she's a vampire also, and <laughs> also there's this. And I always kind of thought like, oh, this is going to unfold and like there's going to be like something different there's gonna be a story implication at the end of this goblin cave mm. and then there was hmm. so it's just like i don't know things like that get Being me into it? games like i know chris hugely disagrees uh -oh. but i really love games like the new god of war and shit like that oh uh, i'm sorry lyle but, i despise shit like that yeah see i i don't like look we all have different tastes but like at this point if a game isn't doing something that is so radically different from like anything else that I've played that's really the that's only thing it's got going for it is like story you know yeah. so if it can give me a good story it can kind of you know it doesn't have to reinvent the wheel otherwise like I, I don't care about playing Mario Kart because I've played other Mario Karts yeah and I'm, I'm just done with it forever you know what I mean I like your, mm -hmm. I like really arcadey crazy things mmm yeah definitely no, I and I miss. I feel like there's not as many arcade games now. I feel like I could go for many, many more of those. And I love movement heavy games where you're just zipping around. Yeah, that's fun. That's why I felt like I. Oh man, I, I feel like I tried Spider-Man on PS4 and I just wasn't really happy. That with how game's the movement, movement works. is boring because there's nothing to it. It's, it's just like Assassin's Creed. It does everything for you. When Assassin's Creed is brand new, I thought it and was then pretty say, cool. Hey, you could unlock more moves and be, no, shut up. I've seen it all. It doesn't make it any more fun. Sorry that you like holding up. Fuck. you. I definitely don't think it's as good as, like, Spider-Man 2. No, Spider-Man 2, it's... It, it, it's broken and it feels... I mean, it looks like shit, but you're doing so much more and it's way more fun because of it. Yeah, I, I, I think the PS4 one is, like, okay, but it's not... As, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I don't even want to defend it because I, like, I, I just think it's okay. It's, like, the world's okayest game. I only played Spider-Man 1 on PS2, and guess what? I think it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that game, that game kind of blows, but you could put cheat codes into it and give guys big heads and throw them off buildings and shit. Oh, uh, that's one of the best parts of Tony Hawk on PS2. Giving them a small head. Yeah, yeah turning them into, like, them. Fuck the fat. movement and the tricks. I love giving them a small head. Uh, custom stages in Tony Hawk was so fun, because I would just make custom stages mm. where it's just a deep pit of lava where I use all create points <laughs> on that. And just make Ooh. them grind into it. Oh, dude, I used to love fucking, like, Tony uh, Hawk Underground break? and shit, where you could, uh... You could fucking customize your moves. And I had this move where my guy, like, takes out a guitar and flips, like, nine million times <laughs> in half a second. It was oh, really awesome. That's sick. She has no nipples. You she don't know that. You she, don't know that. We still have hope. She's hiding Where are them? your nipples, baby? I can hear that you're naked. I can hear your lack of nipples. Explain! I'll show you, Travis. If you are, go kill for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my <laughs> babe. <laughs> He's Tim Allen. <laughs> I mean, Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Would you have sex with Tim Allen? Who is Tim Allen? <laughs> who's the man behind Tim Allen? He's the guy who's not Buzz Lightyear, right? He's the guy who was Buzz Lightyear. Until so Chris Evans Lightyear? came in and had sex with him. Until Chris Evans came in and made him not him anymore. <laughs> okay. I'm Quick so fucking say. happy like you're bombed. I'm so happy. That gives me I don't know why that gives my tummy that. big warm feeling. It's mm. such a weird why uh, yeah, I don't know why they'd go for that either. Haha, <laughs> get fucked, Pixar. You totally deserve it. I think trying to turn st like Toy Story into a huge franchise is a shit move. That being said, though, I did enjoy the Buzz Lightyear cartoon as a kid. Yeah, you know what's great? You know what's fucking amazing? In, uh, at the start of Toy Story 2, they nailed the feeling of a Buzz Lightyear movie. Yeah. And they could have made a whole movie like that, except they decided to make it all boring and, and serious. Yeah, and they wanted to and make put a it... stupid cute cat in it. You fucking idiots! They wanted to make it look like Get Mass fucking Effect or fucking, old, Pixar. Uh, fucking Interstellar for teenagers. You or thought you were being so clever. Well, I, you know, they were I, like, we want fucking 12 to 14 year olds to love this movie. I guess I only hate half of Pixar, because I gotta say, oh, no, I love closure, old Pixar. I, I like Turning Red was really good. Oh man, that looks like ass. I don't, I don't even want to watch that one. It's wait, an, are you it's being an serious? Okay one. Nah, it looks so bad. Wait, wait. Oh no! 
You, have, you actually haven't seen it? No. Oh, dude. It's it, okay. It, I, I actually was shocked at how much I didn't hate that's that fair. movie. That's fair. I still want to yeah. see it. No, no, Chris. But no, you, guess what? I don't want to see it. No, you'll, you'll think no, you don't want to see it. No, but guess what? I don't want to see it. Chris. Yeah? It's it's actually good. I know that sounds crazy, but it is unironically actually good. Cuts okay. to Chris That's four fair. months ago on one of these recordings. Oh, these people say, oh no, it's actually good, and then you watch it, and it's the stupidest, laziest piece of shit, and it sucks. I don't and think it's lazy. I just think it's fucking... <laughs> it looks fucking dog shit. I'm sorry. It's not for me. That's fine, not everything's you know gotta be said, for everyone. everything's for little girls in their periods? That movie specifically is! Yeah, but but that's supposed to be. I know, and I don't want to watch it. Splatoon is like, oh, it's ink, it's not period, it's ink. If I'm not gonna watch <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, what the fuck would I want to watch that one for? You don't trust the word of your good friend Dave and his many recommendations? No, because Dave's a fucking idiot! What are you talking <laughs> about? Dave has recommended so many great things. I'm still right here, actually. Such as? <laughs> such as. So, you like this game, don't you? Uh. Don't you? Uh, this yeah. is basically turning red. I thought everything you thought about turning red, and so did Corey. We both thought it would suck dick, but seriously, it's me and Corey's favorite Pixar movie now. I don't know, I'm just not into it. I don't care. Even I mean, if I watch I guarantee you I'd feel the same way. I just know. Deep down in the bottom of my heart. You're fucking green yes. eggs and hamming this I'll so tell you hard. What, <laughs> you know what I don't like? I don't like, uh, uh... I don't Women? like things that act like a TikTok. That's what that... Uh, every single piece of footage I've seen from that... I've seen enough of it to be like, I'm not gonna like this. But it takes place in 2001, immediately after the towers fell. <laughs> in yeah. Canada. Th th did you see uh, Encanto, Chris? No. Okay. And I don't want to. <laughs> no, that, that, <laughs> That's another that TikTok movie. No, I think Turning Red I is I saw infinitely... two of the songs from Encanto. I saw that... Trip, 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 I'm a big buff bitch, do do. And I was like, nope, I would not, I would not like this. And I... then I... Yeah, sorry, it's just not for me. I, uh, Monica always gets mad at me because I make fun of Encanto because they always <laughs> fucking talk in the middle of the songs. So I just start singing one of the songs and then start, like, talking. And she yells. I don't like movies that act like Broadway shows. That's definitely that. I, I was not a we big fan of Encanto. We literally watched Cats Don't Dance last time we hung out and you loved it. That's a musical. It knows it's a musical. They're literally on Broadway and it in doesn't, that movie. No, when they're, when they're in normal scenes, they don't act like they're on a stage. This shit pisses me off. <laughs> Where like uh, everyone in the room like stops dancing and they lower their heads and it gets all dark and a spotlight comes down and it's focused on one person and they're acting all annoying. Sorry. Have you seen Not Cats, the movie Cats? No. That movie's fucking bad, but it's great because it's bad. Yeah, that, that, see that's something I'd get more enjoyment out of. That now that is something I would probably never watch. <laughs> you get to see the fat rebel Wilson cat eating cockroaches and mice. Remember that guy who interviewed Jonah Hill? Yeah. It's like, you're always the fat guy. Elaborate. Jonah Hill's like, fuck you. <laughs> that was funny. It was a very rude question, but it was true. I mean, I think he had an appropriate response to it. <laughs> yeah, if he exactly. Said, fuck you. But it was funny. So wait, is this the actual level, or is this still a side mission? Right now, we're actually going through high school to kill a high school that a high schooler. That's our mission. You wouldn't do that, though. Is oh, it actually? It. Yeah, it is. There's a high schooler we gotta kill. I'm so hungry. You forgot your bump stock, though. Ah, uh, that's fucking misusing school equipment. Yeah, and you know what I'm gonna do to him for doing that? Kill the shit out of him. Murder I mean, that guy. I was just gonna talk to oh, the no. fucking guy, but you're right. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You gotta Dave's fucking good. skedaddle. <laughs> Whoa! Dude, you know the fucked up thing is I know I played all the way through this game, but I don't remember any of this. And how fun and awesome This is it the is. kind of thing I, I love. This yeah. is funny. Oh no. There's a lot of fucking guys to get through. You're doing good. I got this, I got this. And, and... Nice. You fucking bastards. Turn this stupid shit off. So now we know that Travis is weak to wetness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The weakness of every virgin. The weakness of wetness. Chris, Why? In, your, in your expert opinion, is Dante from Devil May Cry a virgin? Yes. Uh, yes, I think so. Thank you. There's no way in hell. What are you talking about? There's no way in hell he gets girls. Have you seen his abs? Yeah, but so Elliot Roger had abs. I mean... <laughs> 
I think Dante, unfortunately, is a sexless, kissless virgin. I don't. Th I don't think it's possible, man. Well, only ne only uh only no, Virgil has a kid. He can obviously get girls, no problem. But I don't think he wants to. That is a colossal spoiler, maybe. What? Oh no! What Devil May Cry Four is all about Virgil's kid. Oh, is it? Yeah. That is also a colossal spoiler. <laughs> What? Because they don't reveal that till the end of five. Ah, <laughs> uh, they don't confirm it, but everybody already knew it. Oh, you slippery little rectum! Fine, fine, leave it in there. You know what? You'd only know if you weren't paying attention, so that's on you. I, I hate spoilers, but I'll be true. I'll be real with that one. It's his damn kid. You just literally broke the cardinal sin. Yeah, rule. you were just bitching about you that. You were just bitching about that. All right, you know what? I'll admit it. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a fucking hypocrite. You're okay. a fucking hypocrite. I'm a fucking hypocrite. It's a good song. Oh, you fucking did. So wait, what? What? What's your What's your beef with Dante? Devil may cry. Oh I no, I was no asking if you think he's a virgin or not. I don't- I don't think he fucks girls. I think that's beyond him. Yeah, I, th I think Travis Touchdown's a virgin. I think Dante's a virgin. Travis, a virgin Travis too. Travis does- yeah, he is a virgin. That's literally the whole point of the game. Crash Bandicoot gets mad pussy. Have you seen his first girlfriend? Okay, I think maybe Dante was a virgin in like three. Cause he, he never went devil trigger before, and I feel like that would happen the first time you came. <laughs> right? I don't know. That- I mean, your logic is solid, Ooh. I'll give you that. I feel like by the time he's hit Devil May Cry 1, he's not a virgin. By 5, dude, he's like fucking three chicks at once. I don't know, I still feel like in 5, he's no, like- No, did you see the dick go in? I thought <laughs> about it a lot. Well, that doesn't count. I typed in Rule 34 Dante Devil May Cry and saw him fucking chicks. You saw the guy from the Quick Stop fucking Randall. <laughs> that would be a really unfortunate thing to see. <laughs> And really unrelated if you're searching on Rule 34. <laughs> so wait, you didn't actually answer the question. Is this like a mission mission or is this a side mission? Oh yeah, no, we're, this is the real deal. We're going through a high school to kill somebody. Okay, Our target's cool. a high schooler. No, is it gonna be like a like a fucking like grappler Baki kind of high schooler where it, it says he's a high schooler but he's like a nine foot tall buff guy? E, I mean, pretty much. This is not somebody who's not capable of defending themselves. Yeah, he's also got like... 143 bodyguards, so... Ah, uh, this is just normal school security. Haven't you guys heard about the news in America lately? This is just <laughs> what you need, these guys. Uh, I don't know. I think they should just take off all the doors but one, and then we'd be totally safe. <laughs> that's actually a genius idea. That's, I won't That's lie. what I keep saying. Have you seen that one police show where one episode is just that... It's a school shooting for an entire episode, and it's like the scariest thing ever. That sounds fucking horrifying. What, is it like a CSI or something, or like... Yeah, it's like some kind of like police drama show, but one episode is just them responding to a school shooting, and it is the most intense thing I've ever seen in my life. It was so well done. I forgot I mean, what it's called. That would be fucking horrifying. We should watch it after this. <laughs> yeah, sounds that, like a good old time to spend with your friends. Yeah, that'll give me some good dreams later in the day. <laughs> Does it have a trading card in it? Better. <laughs> yes! What's number 14? That's the number of the trading card I, I got. I think that's Daglet. Yeah. No, it's like uh, like Pidge Pidgeot or something. Oh my mushy, god. Mushy. Oh. He's holding the Wii Switch you controller up to his ear. You won't fucking believe it, dudes. You would not believe it. Kakuna is number 14. I just got Kakuna and no more heroes. Really? Wow. The I put it time. in my little card holder thing and it turned yellow. <gasps> wow, when you were a kid, did your mom ever find the piss drawer? The piss drawer? You're so disgusting. <laughs> she did find the booger wall, but no, she never found did the piss really drawer. Did you really have a booger wall? Uh, I definitely had booger You're wall. You're insane. Uh, well, it was, a, it was a wall of convenience. It, there was no, like, pathos behind collecting them. I was just fucking like... Mm. <laughs> just, use, just bring toilet paper in your room. You, you sound so displeased right now, Chris. That's so gross. I hate boogers. Uh, more than anything. More than poop? Chris, everyone's got some boogers here and there. Know, everyone's got boogers to... on their walls. No, you know what? I did. To this day, I've still never eaten a booger. To Good this day. when you were a little kid? Never. It never occurred to me to put that in my fucking mouth. It's like all I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why, you know, like you just got tired of them. You're right. Ain't a good shit. Back to work. Okay, we got our wrestling mask that our friend left here for us. Mucha lucha, mucha lucha. 
Mm-hmm. That show sucked my ass. I actually really hated that. Show. I don't think a single person in the entire universe liked that show. No, I, I think people liked it. No. I, oh, yeah, you're right. All right. Well, you know what? <laughs> As a kid, I remember if Rocket Power or Jimmy Neutron came on, I would just cry for 30 straight minutes. I liked until something Jimmy Neutron, but Rocket Power and Mucha Lucha was like, I wish that another show would just come on. It's like, torture. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait for me in the hallway. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, her friends don't seem too concerned that she's taking her sword out of her holster. Uh, she always does that. Yeah, just another day. That is so just like her. Mind if we do this somewhere else? <laughs> You're the boss. Did she just kill her friends? No. Yeah. She's got blood all over her. Wait, really? Yes. Yeah. Killed them? Such a gentleman. Oh my god. Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? Or are you just fucking with me? Both. <gasps> kind of a little column A, little column B. <laughs> That's our A little word. column B, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just, I just, I'm just here for you. No other high schoolers will get harmed. <laughs> Combine the columns. You got column B. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't even know what I'm saying. Dude, lightsabers are so cool. I'm glad that films for like 50 years have just stolen it from Star Wars. Yeah, it's kind of just open season on it now. You just gotta make it look kind of different is all. I don't even know if you do. Like, Beat Saber is just literally lightsabers. And it even has saber in the thing. Yeah. I think it's just... I think it's just allowed. Sonic Sword! Sonic Sword! Sonic. Ooh. What the hell was that? Yeah, that makes no freaking sense. Sonic Boom! Okay, guys, I don't mean to alarm you, but this fight's actually kind of hard. I remember high school. Do you? Yeah. I actually don't remember high school like it's at like all. It's like literally the worst fucking period of my life. That sucked. Uh, I don't even remember if I went. I don't remember it at all. I'm gonna inject knowledge into my children's brain with a syringe. High school <laughs> does like actually fucking suck because you're like... You feel like you're too old for this shit, but you also like don't have any life skills. No, the worst thing about it is how little you learn and the amount of time you spend there. Yep. And it's fucked up that they don't teach taxes or anything actually important there. At least they taught me English. Dude, did you guys have to do, like, poetry for, like, half of every English semester? We did have to do a lot of poetry, and I don't remember I don't know a if it, I don't know if I'd say part half, of it. But it was, it was, like, it was a lot. It was a disproportionate amount. Yeah, we had to do a bunch of poetry. It's such a useless skill in <laughs> the realms of life that the amount of time that we dedicated to it actually makes me fucking unmitigatedly angry. No, me too. Yeah, though, the worst thing about high school is you're old- you are just old enough to be too sentient, and you're just, like, sitting there knowing how much of a waste of time it is. Yeah. There are a lot of high schoolers who are gonna get an insane rush of dopamine hearing that. But, the important thing about school that no one really mentions is that, without it, you become a social- That's kind of true. That true. You know, like, honestly, the kids that fuck around in class and, like, throw spitballs and, like, get suspended, <laughs> probably get infinitely more, like, applicable life skills out of high school than the people that like study and like get A's on their tests and shit. That's the weird sad truth about it. <laughs> it's very strange. Oh, I don't know if I'd agree with that. <laughs> I think most of those guys are... Well, maybe. <laughs> That's maybe the case. It is important though that you're surrounded with other people so you're not just constantly learning how to be a dumbass. That's what the internet's doing. It teaches you how to be stupid. I and think then the... you find other like-minded stupid people yeah. that, that encourage it. That's what I was gonna say is you can be like really, really socially maladjusted and go on the internet and find a thousand people who are exactly similarly socially maladjusted yeah. and get like a sense of normalcy, which is comforting, but it's not helpful. Like, it doesn't make you any less, like, weird around other people. There's that one green text where it's like, uh, wanna fuck, fuck. a toaster. People tell me I'm stop wanting to do that and grow up. Or, wanna fuck a toaster, go online, find community of like-minded toaster fuckers, become more... <laughs> And then permanently, yeah, for life. <laughs> Man, Sorry. Nash takes a ton of damage. What the fuck? It gives you one square of damage. No, I had extra purple health before that. Purple flirt? Yeah. This is hard. Why would you subject oh. yourself to this? You've got to defeat this wench quickly so that we can eat. I, I would love to eat. 
See, that's gonna be the Zenkai boost he needs. He's gonna say like, I gotta get that grub, and he's gonna power up. I gotta get it. I feel like there either is or should be a lot of fan art of this character. Uh. Like she's got a cool design. She's What's relatively her name, like Dave Shinobu. Shinobu. Mm -hmm. You like, just made that up. No, that's that. No, it's like Shinobi. Yeah. Oh my god, she's fucking you. If you guys were like in your mid twenties, would you kill a high schooler? <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> See, that's the thing, right? When you're in high school, the guy that kills a high schooler in his mid twenties seems like super cool. And then you get older and you realize that guy's a loser. <laughs> Merc is weird. <laughs> right. Oh man, you know what that just reminded me of? What's that? Uh, you know One Punch Man, uh, season one's really good. Yeah. And everyone says One Punch Man season two sucks because of the animation. I and think it extra sucks because th the sound design is so horrible. In the second season, they do that machine gun effect so often, it's like the most distracting thing in the world. Whenever there's like a fight, people will like punch each other, and it'll be like... And it's like, it's so fucking annoying and bad how they do it. They just repeat the same sound effect over and over to the exact same tempo, to the same pitch, with like no effects or anything. I, I will say, for some reason, sound design has gotten really, really bad in animated shows. Lately. It's because you don't need any experience to get hired. They're just like, oh, you know how to use that software? Okay. Like, I, I remember I was watching, like, uh, the, the Netflix Castlevania. Yeah. And they had, like, the same sound effect for, like, his chain whip. And they played it, like, 20 times back to back to back. It's like, dude, get, like, 10 of these and, like, alternate them, yeah, you know? And l or just, like, lower or heighten the pitch each time. Yeah, even the volume. If you do a sound effect two times in a row and you like yeah. fuck with the volume it can even sound different this how can shit. your only job be sound design and you still suck at it it's like the easiest thing to get good at you know what i think the actual uh the actual answer to that is i think it's because it's like the last thing in the chain maybe if like if the episode just has to be done and has to go out that will be the thing that's like left unfinished or they get rushed yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I think sound design is still just an underappreciated art that most people don't understand. I think we're lucky as shit that Dragon Ball Z has such iconic sounds. Yeah. A lot of those sounds are just like crazy synth magic. Is there health around anywhere, or did you blow that already? I blew it. So if I get hit, I'm fucked. Lol. Well then just don't get hit. That's the plan, buddy. Oh. Oh. Well, 